everybody! Have you heard about the Drunken Peasants Patreon? It helps support the show while getting you some cool perks. Check it out! For one dollar per month, you get to use our exclusive fan chat that appears at the bottom of the screen on every episode. For five dollars per month, you get two new private shows, including Actual Mania, as well as our back catalog of private shows, plus all lower tier perks. For ten dollars per month, you get all of our monthly video content. This includes multiple post shows, our monthly reviews, our back catalog of all that content, plus all lower tier perks. For fifteen dollars per month, your name will appear in the ending credits of each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For twenty-five dollars per month, you get to take part in our monthly booking committee hangout to help us book our Patreon content for that month, plus all lower tier perks. For thirty-three dollars per month, you get an exclusive piece of DP merch each month, plus all lower tier perks. For fifty dollars per month, you appear in the opening credits for each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For one hundred dollars per month, you get to join us as a guest on an episode of the Drunken Peasants podcast, plus you guessed it, all lower tier perks. Visit Patreon.com/dp now to become a patron of the Drunken Peasants podcast. Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get a witness. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on you, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Lift my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> the strangest corners of the internet here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective here are your hosts the drunken peasants. hello everybody welcome to the drunken peasants podcast this is episode 1333 back again on another wonderful thursday afternoon evening whatever you want to call it we're back again please like the stream we were supposed to have your favorite son he had to cancel we're supposed to have smarty on but he's going to be late so i guess we'll see how that goes i I, i'm not sure uh when or if he'll show up but that's fine we'll we'll make do with what we have here if anybody watching wants their money back, uh, you know, it's a free show. We can't do anything for you. But if you want, you can send us money via Streamlabs to hit this week's goal. We're over 56% of the way there. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. What a deal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I put in I put in some, some over, over, over time and got us to 56% the other night. Uh, I, I want to let everybody know that for all of you lucky patrons that are uh, patrons $10 or higher, we will be doing our monthly movie review immediately following tonight's episode. We are going to watch Death Stalker 4. We've been watching yeah. month by month. We've been watching the Death Stalker series. I believe this is the final one uh, before they make the new one. And yeah, it's... Uh, Come join us because it doesn't matter if you haven't seen Deathstalker one through three, because they have nothing to do with one another, and there's never the same actors in any of the sequels. Yeah, yeah. and if you really have a problem with watching a movie that's not like it's out of sequence, you know, like Deathstalker one, two, three, this is four, you can just pretend it's Deathstalker IV. Yeah, and then put that IV right in your arm because we're gonna give you pure, unadulterated movie review. Yeah, yeah, you can sign up Patreon.com/dp. Sign up, feel free. We're gonna do it after the show. We'll remind you later. Also, one more plug here. Uh, I usually I have this at the beginning of the month, but I've had so many other things to deal with. I do want to put it out there. We have a uh, we we do have the monthly fifty dollar T shirt. It's uh, us as beautiful, busty women. So if you want this on a shirt, sign up for the $50 level before the end of this month. I'll send you one of these. Uh, If you are at the $33 level, we have it in sticker form. Look at that. Yeah, you can make it sticky on both sides if you want. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's available to anyone who signs up before the end of this month. Uh uh, the stickers for the $33 perk and then the shirt at the $50 perk. We send it to you. So, uh, yeah, and anyone who's been signed up for previous months, I'm catching up. 
There's a few, uh, I'm a few months behind, so I'm catching up on those as we speak. So yeah, we're gonna, uh, oh, I want to show you, um, other people have been making these and I think they're great. They're Jared segment bumper videos in the style of the Austin Powers, uh, bumper videos. Like, like here's one. Like that. Oh shit! That reminds me exactly of Austin Powers. Yeah, yeah, it was. It, it's like a parody of it. Here's here's a here's another one. I wonder who made <laughs> these. I um, who was it this time? Someone. So if, if you're in the chat, remind me if you made it because I saw them on Teddy's channel and then I also saw them on one of Egghead's videos. They're great. I'm a big I think, fan. I think Seth Looks might have made it. Oh, it was Revolting Machine. Revolting oh, yeah. Machine. <laughs> All right. So we are going to uh, check up. Someone says there's an audio issue. Is it on my end or your end? I see two people say audio. I don't. Are they or are they trolling? I don't know. I usually yeah. don't bring it up, uh, like unless everyone's saying it. So yeah. that probably just ignore it. <laughs> yeah and move on with the show and not get distracted all right yeah. we are gonna move on to something else here we're gonna check out um the the actually you know what we got a surprise drop from cobra while i was setting up the show so i'm gonna play that right now Ooh. Please like the stream. Please subscribe. Thank you. Somewhere in the world today, the world today. Men have got to stand up strong Face the truth about themselves To understand what went wrong I know we can find a way I know we can find a way I know we can find a way Stand up All right, so this is a, a, an unexpected Cobra video that he posted on his Facebook. Let's see what this is all about. Fine afternoon, evening, fellow Facebookers, social medias. Oh. With a freshly washed glass of the martini variety. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do a uh, drink combo using maraschino cherries with the stem. With the stem. This is daring. Without the stem, those are ice cream cherries. Nothing With the stem, there. that's definitely for drinks. Of the syrup in there for a flavor. <laughs> Just like that. A little bit of that syrup. Yeah. He should make a he should make a Miracino mead. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a Miracino cherry mead. It's better than he didn't use cherry cordials one time. Now when he's talking about cherry alcohol cordials. Go with it. Yes. But I suggest an E and J peach brandy. It was milk chocolate. With natural peach flavor <laughs> and caramel color. A little irk and jerk is not bad with maraschino. Cherry and peach. How do you feel about a cherry and peach pairing, Ben? I'll try it. I can't remember if I've ever tried anything. Um, yeah. Uh, with those two flavors necessarily mixed. I, I'm definitely on more on the cherry side than the peach side. Uh, but I like both by themselves, so I'd try it out. Yeah. e and has been around since the 70s. This is good brandy. Would recommend I have it chilled in the freezer. It is ice fucking cold. Pretty sure Hannibal said that was like some hood shit, E and J. Yeah. One time. Yeah. It's a bottom shelf Hennessy. 
We just splash so, of that in our glass. It's for when you're hurting, you get ENJ because you can't yeah. afford Hennessy. So it's like it's like the steel reserve of uh, liqueurs, basically. Yeah, steel reserve is malt liquor, right? Right, right. And I'm saying like just how steel reserve is the like desperation beer. This is like the desperation. What is it, cognac or something? I think it's cognac. Yeah. Uh, isn't is cognac just a whiskey brand or brandy? Cognac, I believe. Uh, it looks it's like a liqueur. Delightful. We're going to grab a Jack Daniels Southern Peach cocktail. Also very tasty. Southern Peach so, Jack Daniels cocktail. So what it is, it's it's a type of brandy. It's a type of brandy that comes from Cognac, France. And we kind of do yeah. the thing where like we call it Cognac, but technically it, it only stuff that comes from that specific area like champagne yes. can only come from champagne france yes. and bourbon can only come from kentucky a lot of uh a lot of countries have laws around that where you can't say something like like you can't say something champagne unless it actually is uh but in yeah. the states we don't have that <laughs> like like you can you can have american wagyu when technically it's not wagyu if it's not from japan but it's the cows so they can say that it's like that Let's splash yeah. that in there. I wonder what this Jack Daniels little, drink is like. This it's is also uh, a peach drink. Yeah, it's one of those. Um, it's like the Jack Daniels wine coolers. Is there uh, any like actual hard liquor in it, or is it another? Uh, it might be malt. malted beverage. It might be malt because I I don't I doubt they would use real whiskey in it. Put a room at the top for our final ingredient. This seems a bit tedious for a cocktail, but <laughs> there, speaking yeah. of tedious, King Cobra is all about tedious. I love it. What's his idea of tedious? If he's bringing up tedious, what is what is this going to be? Yeah, I, I... Oh. a little bit of cherry coke to top it off. I think so. <laughs> okay, so, so I I just want to take a quick look around. I'm noticing lots of things in boxes. I notice his workbench is very clean and non-cluttered yeah. for the first time in quite some time. A man is moving. So sad. This is a great place. Well, now he's going to have his own place cuz uh, you know, it was already it was already leaked by Jessica that he's moving to a trailer. So she Sugar leaked it out the there. Fizz. <laughs> what do you think, Facebook? Looks good. I give it a nine out of ten. I'd give it a sip just to see. I'm glad there's the only solid matter in there is something that actually goes into cocktails, so I can deal yeah. with that. Yeah. So it was a maraschino Enjoy. cherry, maraschino cherry juice, E and J peach, uh, Jack Daniel's peach wine cooler, basically. Yeah, those are and called then uh, cherry coke. They're right? literally called Jack Daniel's country cocktails. Um, I, rem tail. I remember I had, uh, one, it was the down home punch when I was like 20 years old. I drank like a ton of them and threw up like red vomit everywhere. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see how it tastes. Technicolor vomit is a rite of passage. Yeah. There was something called St. Ides. And that yeah, was special big brew. for. Special Brew, Mad Dog 2020. Nope. Um, there was uh, Cisco was another trashy thing. People Did you have to wear a thong couple. while you drank it? <laughs> you, you would think so, yeah. Cisco was uh, a big puker. The, the, I don't know. Yeah, the, the, the emissary. Oh, that's good. I missed all that. And I remember my first equivalent of that puke was Yo, uh, Sparks. Facebook. Yeah. Or I need to open up my own fucking bar with these cocktails. 
Might have been four loco. Four, four loco. Four loco. Yeah, yeah. yeah four loco. Phenomenal. I don't yes, think I it's a TDS, but oh, is it fucking worth it? One second. Mm. That tastes like cherries and peach. <laughs> well, I would hope so. Could, That's what you put in it. Could you imagine if it tasted like watermelon or something? <laughs> like, tastes like coconut. <laughs> <laughs> There Somehow it tastes like a s'more. Delightful little drink combo right there. That is decades of like smooth. Pinkies up like a king. Maybe his pinky wasn't up. I think it's just bent because of the ring, and it was an optical illusion. I wanted to have just one like that, and I want to finish off the one that I opened, this one right here, because I don't need a whole, whole shit ton, you know. But I did want to make my own drink combo, and I thought, yes. <laughs> I thought, yes. <laughs> is this an epic pause or that's that's the whole okay. video okay i didn't know if the the bog disc error was writing and i, I was thought like, <laughs> sometimes that does happen yeah it was i was like this is a good one and i thought <laughs> yes so yeah, that's what we're. That was the latest from Cobra. He hasn't put out anything in a while, so we uh, we just checked in with that. Now Got we're a gonna lot of boxes. Now we're gonna jump into the mind of the manatee. So we're gonna play his intro. Here we go. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. The individual Brett Keen segment situation. Uh, this is a video from Brett Keen. Uh, it's a little older. You know, he quit YouTube again the other day. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is this video was from like a year ago and it's called American Soil. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, no. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen and you are watching and listening to the Brett Keen show. You don't even have to say that. OK. And by the way, they already know it's the Brett Keen show. OK, <laughs> like if they're if they're watching, listening, they already know what it is. You don't have to tell them. Before we get into the topic, I should let you all know that there is news being posted all over social media sites claiming that some reparable sources or however you say. Some repu some reparable. What did he say? Reputable? Reparable, I think is what he says. I mean that some reparable source. Reparable. So. So doesn't Reparable. that mean like doesn't that mean like repairable, like fixable? I think so. I I whatever it means is not what he thinks it means. Right. I think he means <laughs> reputable, like versus or however you say that. However, however you say that. Are stating however that you're saying on repairable. December seventh, there's a bunch of terrorist cells in America that are going to be releasing basically. They're claiming that Muslims are going to uh, cause and commit several terroristic acts on American soil. It and better not. Be, it didn't this happen. This is an old video, right? Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. Gonna say, I was gonna, did it happen, Brett? No. no. I'm Pretty watching, easy. Listening and jerking to Brett Keen. Ooh. Yes. Watching, listening. Let that manatee meat pop. Also, don't forget about the $12 dono. That's all I'm saying. For him, too, because the Democrats, the liberals, allowed millions of them to be able to come into America. And we can see by looking around. Oh, he's doing he's kind of doing the Trumpster Bob thing where he's like, oh, the Biden's letting in all the illegal immigrants and they're actually secret Muslims that are going to do terrorism. That's that's what he's doing. <laughs> Yeah. World, how that's doing for Britain and London and... Britain and London. How's it doing for Britain and London and such? <laughs> and so on. Many of the other countries out there. London, not a country. Britain, not a country. So... How great would Brit Keen be? <laughs> like a Brett Keen with a British accent. Yeah. That'd be pretty funny. Can anybody do that? <laughs> 
England. So that's almost as bad as saying England is a city. You know, England is my city. London the, or the worst Britain part is that guy was. That guy was from <laughs> England, right? <laughs> that was was Nick he? Crumpton? I don't know. When he was rapping, he was like, England is my city. Then he was from there. <laughs> he should have known better. I'm sure that there's cities named England out there. I guarantee you, like, there's, in the U.S., there's he probably was, a he few He was definitely states. from the U.K. He yeah, was, yeah. It's just dumb to say. <laughs> Unless there's an England, England or something. I don't know. I'm allowed it. And of course, maybe anybody he was that's... just saying something completely stupid so people would talk shit about it, knowing yeah, that maybe. whole thing was going to be trash. Speaks out <laughs> against it. They're going to get the shit beat out of them by the cops and the military and all that. And the system is basically being used to abuse folks. What? So why would the liberals and Democrats do such a thing? I mean, these are the same people who claim that they're into depopulation. They say that there shouldn't be that many people in the world, that it's, uh, you know, too many resources, too much this, too much that, and uh, we should concentrate on depopulation. So Who's saying that? I guess if I were a villain in a movie, if I were some kind of evil fucker, and I really, really was convinced I needed to get rid of some people, how would I go about doing that? Well, I'd start with racial division. I'd get different uh, races to fight each other to the death. Um, <laughs> what a fucking, what a weird way to depopulate. I know, what? Because <laughs> I'll tell you what I would do. I would convince everybody if they're not into boys or girls, if they're boys and girls, and I'd say, boys, fuck the boys, girls, fuck the girls, and then for generations, nobody would populate. It's, It'd be super simple. It's probably not even, I mean, like, biological warfare would be the best way to do that but no one is saying yeah. this. no one is saying that that we need to depopulate no one is saying i would that. do completely what the people of countries want i would do the total opposite um i would enforce laws on them make shit up run kangaroo courtrooms and all that like what's going on with donald trump <laughs> Kangaroo courtroom? No, if it was a kangaroo court, Donald Trump would already be in prison. That's how kangaroo courts work. No, he's <laughs> actually getting full-on due process. He's getting treated better than most uh, most regular people would for the types of things he's being charged with. He, he's probably not going to see any real jail time at all, even he's if he's convicted. They're probably going to put him on White House arrest. White House arrest. And... um in the end, I would basically get all the votes that I require from these migrants, and then afterwards, I served, they served no use. I just simply killed them like you're about to see in this video right here. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, what, I wish Brett was in charge of the uh, depopulation of the world, because this would fucking fail really quick. Yeah. This is a shitty plan. This is Democrats murdering migrants. Here we go. Let me mute my mic. News migrants who were staying at the 5th District Police Station say they are spending the night outside in frigid temperature. They tell us they were forced to leave and take their belongings with them. So this is not a game. Video sent to CBS2 appears to show an officer from the 5th District Police Station in Pullman right telling here. migrants staying in their lobby to leave. Get out this station, out this lobby, all this junk out of here. Junk referring to their belongings. Volunteers who work with migrants here. He says they're <laughs> killing them like, like he makes it sound like they're gonna get like gunned down or something but they're just being told to leave a lobby they were camping in take your junk with you the newscaster is like their junk is actually their belongings <laughs> it does look like junk to me <laughs> they're telling us this comes after some of the asylum seekers were taken to a shelter tuesday according to them those who didn't go were told by the officer they could no longer sleep in the lobby despite the frigid temperatures so hundreds wow, of thousands please. of migrants have uh, been lost in the system. I don't know if many of you knew that. Oh, I was waiting for a video of them getting killed by Democrats. I was waiting for <laughs> Hillary Clinton to walk up with a Tommy gun and just start like mowing them down. But that so didn't there's happen. My proof, there's my proof that hundreds of thousands of migrants are lost in the system. No, Brett, that's a police station saying they can't sleep in the the fucking office of the police station. Like, no, you can't be in this part of the station. You got to leave. Take your stuff with you.
Yeah, it's nothing to do with a, a mass genocide of migrants. More on the way. Millions of these folks who are expecting to be put in housing, expecting to be fed, um, they're going to need, obviously, a great deal obviously. of time, even if there are a bunch of them that were willing to work and do something. Because of the whole COVID mess and also uh, Democrats are claiming... And it's crazy. Those people, if they really wanted a place to sleep, all they'd have to do was do a couple of crimes. They're already in the police station. They'd get them a bed and three meals. <laughs> that China's got some kind of new strand of COVID that's causing pneumonia to children and young adults and all this. I mean, they pretty much murdered them because they're coming over into our country unvaccinated. Right, uh, they're sitting out in the fucking street Not now. Damn... He's pro vaccine <laughs> now. Yeah, now, now... he's pro vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> One of them are wearing the important mask that liberals are constantly crying about. So Democrats and liberals have essentially murdered these people, but they didn't just murder. <laughs> He's reaching so far. The migrants who've also pretty murdered. much murdered these people because they didn't give them a vaccination. <laughs> so wait a second. A lot of <laughs> three years ago when people wouldn't get vaccines, they were pretty much murdering everybody else. I thought you were on the anti-vax side three years ago, Brett. What's going on? He's on whatever side is convenient. <laughs> we know what side Brett Keen's on. Tummy time. He's on his belly side. <laughs> Americans in the process. You see, when you put a bunch of people out in the fucking cold after promising them heaven on earth and paradise uh, by the dashboard light, what? and people are cold <laughs> and they're fucking hungry... Guess what they Promise start doing? Paradise by the dashboard light, but instead they get kicked out on the cold streets of Chicago. And especially since they, a lot of them don't even speak English, they're not able to communicate the pain and the suffering that they're going in. That's not true. And most Americans, let's say I mean, like they speak Spanish, most of them, the, <laughs> the, the second most commonly spoken language in the entire country. You mean to tell me you're not going to be able to find anybody who can talk to them? That's ridiculous. I mean, it's it, it's it's almost a certainty that there's at least one police officer there that knows how to speak Spanish. Yeah, they can. They can. If if they needed to, they could call Uber Eats to get a delivery guy to come translate for them, and he'd bring some delicious food. Usually, for police departments and even like call centers and stuff, there are, are translation services that they use. Basically, when we're walking yeah. on the sidewalk, we see a homeless person. We just keep on walking. We don't do very well at reading body language. You got to kind of look at a motherfucker in order to see the body language that somebody's in a great deal of pain. <laughs> so i mean folks whoa, whoa, whoa. here it is is brett suggesting that that people don't notice the pain that homeless people are going through when you walk by them in the streets i, I think the issue is most of us really can't do anything to change their lives so like, what are the mic we don't walk by homeless people because we don't notice they're in pain we walk by homeless people because we don't know what the fuck we can do to help them Immigrants going to do? They're going to end up breaking into people's fucking houses so they can keep warm. They're going to break into your fucking refrigerator because they're hungry. How do I know that? Because that's exactly what I would do. If somebody put me in a fucking van right now and took me to one of these other countries and just dropped me off on the fucking road, <laughs> and the Democrats or liberals or whatever the country statesmen are that particular fucking uh, place uh, get their vote and then they don't have nothing to do with me afterwards what the fuck you think I'm going to do I I have the survival instinct you know I'm going to want to live and if I got kids <laughs> with me and a wife I'm not going to just sit there and honorably fucking die in the corner you know while people walk by no I'm going to mug people I'm going to carjack them I'm going to stab motherfuckers in the throat I'm going to throw my fucking pillow and blanket down in the subway station anything to get off of the sidewalk or out of the cold I'm not going to lay out in the fucking snow I would do whatever it takes to still survive and I know some people can say but Brent you're a Christian why would you do that there ain't nowhere in the bible where it tells Christians <laughs> to just lay down and fucking die Brent you're a Christian why would you 
Why would you go around loot and murder? Yeah. And allow themselves to be manipulated and take an advantage of the use for a fucking punching bag or a garbage bag. What is he even talking what kind about of now? The world do you think we live in, ladies and gentlemen? Wake up. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, so, the Bible doesn't say anything about not being able to rape and pillage your neighbor in a time of desperation. A lot of America- That's only during peacetime that thou shalt not kill. Americans have already been killed. A lot of Americans have already uh, not only been killed indirectly by migrants, but they've also died by some of the shit that they have brought in, such as fentanyl drugs and all that. Fentanyl drugs. He always does this. He kind of like what he did with like England and Britain. Or no, no, he said London and Britain. He always does London this. He creates Britain. a list of things that are all basically the same thing and acts like he's making multiple points. Or fentanyl and drugs. You got a lot of what we call pack mules. A lot of these migrants are bringing drugs into the country and shit. Hundreds of thousands of tons of fucking fentanyl has been found. So, yeah. What did these fentanyl people? does suck. We need to do something about fentanyl in this country. If we make other drugs that are not as fucking wicked as fentanyl legal and easily obtainable, I oh, think maybe that's most the people, answer. There's a lot of there's a lot of people that die from fentanyl that didn't even know they were doing fentanyl. Like it was something. Yeah. They thought it was something else. What we should have is uh, drug testing sites where you can take your drugs and without having to worry about them being taken away from you and they can be tested for purity. They have, they have that place up in Vancouver that does that. Uh, yeah, testing is a smart idea, but uh, in this capitalistic America, we might as well just have Pfizer and Marlboro and Nabisco sell us drugs directly. I actually think though, I mean, did anybody actually think that even if there were some sanctuary cities, how many fucking beds did you actually think there were going to be? How much food did you think was going to actually exist? No, the Democrats knew full well that even if the entire country worked together, there wasn't nothing that could be done for a majority of these people. I mean, just ask the liberals and Democrats. We're running out of resources. We need to do green deals. We need billions of dollars to fund all this shit. Save the trees, save the bees, save the snails, save the whales, all this bullshit. But what about, about the manatees, Brett? Shall we save the manatees? <laughs> is what it is. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Enjoy walking. I did until I watched this video. Fucking- corpses littered down the sidewalk along with all the shit and syringes that you find in california unless you just so happen to have a chinese dictator coming at the moment then we clean up hey don't say california that was san francisco um so that's that infrastructure in America does need to be updated. We need a lot of updates. We've been running off old I've programs. I've done YouTube since YouTube has existed and is still this bad at it. You think he would accidentally have gotten at least slightly better at it nope. by now? He's gotten worse. Nope. He's just as bad. No, he's worse. He's even worse. Uh, ch- let's check out. Oh, God. We're going to check out some jessica stuff and then we're gonna uh check in with the uh, lisa giordano stuff after that Ooh. so we're gonna play the intro all the, again all the lovely ladies So Boglum Chronicles now has another channel, Jessica Chronicles. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, on a separate channel. So here's here's the latest. The broken phone breakdown. I saw this live when it happened. That's your choice to look at a random wall. No one made you. $2. Oh, wow. Actually, I mean, if I was watching and yeah, I mean, if I was already watching Jessica and then she all of a sudden put a random wall on, she literally made me look at the random wall. Now, I don't have to stay, but she did make me look at the wall. Just going to say that. Yeah, this gaslighting bitch. <laughs> Groundhog Day. Hey, it just said I won $2 and now it says I have one cent. So what is it? I wish I would have got a screenshot of it. I swear to God. These this is the exact same thing that happened to her and her lottery ticket. Too Funny PM. how that works. What money do I have? I don't have any money. What little money I do have, I pay my fucking bills and then I buy some fucking weed. What money do I have? Life. If I had actual money to save, then phew, I could already fucking be halfway there. So shut up. I remember her buying a $12 Jeffree Star jar. I think she I think she says more money. Actually, that could be money for her weed. It was a weed jar. Yeah, it was a nug Damn jar. It. That's what she said Jessica it was. Jessica wins again. What are you talking about saying Josh is coming over? Where did Josh ever say he was coming over? Never. Uh, it's not like he can just hop, skip, and jump over here. So, so. He wouldn't even if he could. <laughs> 3 p.m. These streams are you way better I when an hour goes by in two minutes. <laughs> I like the mustard Doritos. Those were fun. Or what was it? Hot mustard Doritos? Those were good. <laughs> Josh? She's whoa. a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's a lady. So what does his autism have to do with anything, you fucking idiot? You don't know what the fuck I tell him about anything. So who, who literally the fuck are you? What does autism have to do with drinking? Uh, You know, I didn't think much and then I met Josh and yeah, it has a lot to do with it. 4 p.m. Somebody in the chat who's had these hot mustard Cash Doritos she talked about. I gotta know more about these. PayPal. It's in the description of my live stream. Why would you send it to Josh, but you're asking me? These people like to do that just to try to piss me off. If you I love to this donate. rack she's got po po uh, pointed at. There's Listerine, there's Coca-Cola, there's rubbing alcohol. A toothbrush. I think there's some KY jelly. <laughs> you me, would already know how to do that in the first place. 5 p.m. I love how quickly this is going. <laughs> Literally, Josh, when I was like 16 years old, or however old, I'm probably 16, getting my triple crunch, and Josh was just a little young and... And he didn't even know what a double down was yet. <laughs> she's like, she's pulling age rank on him. Like, man, he didn't, he didn't even know what a double down was the first time it came out. Back before he knew what a double down was. <laughs> Isn't that crazy that your impersonation of Cobra and Jessica are like the same? It's like I have same. four. I have four impersonations for everybody in the world. But she I can't does do a different one for the two of them. She does try to sound like him, though. And it's <laughs> she not, does a little bit. Yeah. yeah. If I was sixteen, okay, all right. <laughs> I have been crying for my sandwich way before the double down was ever invented. I think it. it I mean, you can't make this shit up about me and Josh. I, I think it's adorable as shit. Like you cannot make this shit up. Bonded by the double down. This is true love. Oh, 5.30 p.m. What is this? What is going is on? Is she dusting? Dude, I think she might be. Is she dusting dusty? <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds like she was taking a hit of something right there. Because now she's coughing. Like yeah. Sounds yeah, like something. It freezes your lungs. You know, if you've ever used Duster, 
Like, I'm, I'm using it to clean out a computer. The can gets ice cold while you're while you're spraying it. So I can only imagine what that does to your lungs. To, like, fill your lungs full of ice cold gas like that. That's crazy. Mm. Yuck. <coughs> so, <coughs> so what? Did she, like... Did she get into Duster hanging out with uh, with Cobra because he had a whole bunch of it because people send it to him and now she's Maybe. yeah dude I wonder I wonder if they sent it to her house too like if people do they have her address are they sending her stuff yet uh I as far as I know Cobra sends her stuff but I don't think he's sending her <laughs> Duster Cobra's like a box of Duster from a lady well. <laughs> She thought he was going to send her a new phone after she sma- after her phone got smashed it during this stream, but he just sent her like more Wendy's or something. <laughs> so if I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough regardless. So. 6 p.m. All right, I got to get dressed. <clears throat> 6.30 p.m. <laughs> 7 p.m. I could not imagine doing a whole stream where, like, I wake up, I I eat breakfast, I take a shower, I'm putting deodorant on, I take a dump. Like, I, I don't know why I would not want to... I don't want to do a stream like that. I don't get her thing. She'll do a 12-hour stream from the bathroom sitting on the toilet the whole time. Yeah, she's addicted to the attention. Yeah. And now she's, she's getting care more of it than negative ever. Attention, she needs it. I think she does care if it's negative attention, but she believes it's more positive than it actually is. But she reacts very badly to every negative comment. See here. Oh, okay. is she finally dressed? She took it outside. She took the stream outside, and you'll see what happens here. Probably get something to eat too. Because she, I guess the signal outside sucks. I don't think she has like an actual phone plan. I think she's outside and trying to stream off of the Wi-Fi that's inside of her house, and that's why the quality <laughs> drops so so drastically. Damn, I'm so hungry. Yes, Josh is still my man. There's my buddy dog. Okay, so she calls this dog over. Okay. And oh, it's, no. it seems like a very nice little dog, or big dog. It's like a big dog. You'll see. Milo. Milo! The dog's name is Milo. Come you got Milo! She's calling this dog over. Come here! <laughs> Come here, sweetie! Milo, come here, buddy. <laughs> he just oh, jumps yeah. up on her. Let's go. Oh, there's my puppy friend. And then, watch what happens next. Hi, sweetie. Ow. Come here. You done with your walk? Come here, old man. Milo. Boom. Rex her phone. <laughs> I hope you didn't crack my phone. <laughs> Oh my god, yes. Oh no. Oh no, yes, he shattered it all over the place. Oh my god. And this is the dog's owner. Like, oh shit. Uh, I didn't think he would I didn't think it would do that. Oh Milo. Oh my Milo's god. Milo's the real hero. Yeah. I need the new phone now. now. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's great. Smithereens. <laughs> Milo. Milo, come here. <laughs> oh, that's just my luck. It's whatever. Sorry about that. Oh, I didn't expect it I to. Didn't either. I, thought it was just I wonder how she had her phone set up. I, I didn't expect it to smash from that level, but. <laughs> it was probably leaned against a can of uh, beans or something. Yeah. Uh, that's just my luck. Honestly, it was probably nice already broken, and she's trying to blame it on the the dog. No, <laughs> so they, I don't think so. Sympathy. No, I think it. I mean, like, but 
later on, she blames the dog and is like mad that the guy didn't offer to buy her a new phone and stuff. And it's like, you called the dog over. So <laughs> if you don't, if you're not going to protect your phone, it, it's it's not the dog's fault in any way, shape, or form. Oh, everybody. No, my phone is really broken now. That's no, I seriously can't have anything nice with my fucking life. Oh God! Never mind, Milo. I didn't think she was, was gonna off. cry. Yep. Unbreak, Unbreak the, the phone, phone, Milo. Your dog just broke my fucking shit. I like, how she what? said it's even I'm more broken. Constantly. You don't even know what my phone fucking looks like right now. It's fucking smashed to goddamn smithereens. Yeah, you should see your life. Yeah, what do you mean it's still working? It's fucking smashed. I mean, it, they mean it's still working, meaning, like, you're still streaming, and they can still hear you and all that. That's what they mean. Everywhere. Doesn't even fucking matter anymore. It's just constant. Yes, your life is in a constant state of disarray. It doesn't matter. You went to Kim Cobra's house and you got him kicked out. You got his channel banned. You're fucking everything up and you want to blame this one on Milo? You called Milo over. You fiddle fucked your own life. Stop blaming everybody else. Look in the mirror. Look at yourself and say, at what point do I stop? Because you're not, not stopping. Too, and they never fucking do. So I don't fucking believe nobody. So I don't want to fucking hear it. I don't want to this fucking hear it. This is not the worst thing a Milo has ever done on Drunken Peasants, by the way. No. I don't fucking believe it from nobody because everyone tells me the same shit all the fucking time. From the one night I streamed outside, this shit is literally fucking ruined. <laughs> yeah, there it is, all smashed up like around the edges. <laughs> It's not even that bad. Live your life, fuck. Is it? I've seen way worse. Well, whatever. The dog broke my fucking phone. Wah. The dog broke my phone and my neighbor just said, oh, I'm sorry, and then just walked off. Yeah. That's karma. That's karma for what you said about Ben and I. Milo's an agent now my of phone karma. Is fucking Any broke. other name. And I wouldn't say Milo was doing it for us, but that name means something here. In the goddamn fucking pieces. Yes, I'm fucking pissed. The dog knocked my fucking tripod over and my phone f fell flat over and fucking is cracked in a million fucking pieces now. I'm goddamn fucking pissed. I just, uh, I just imagine the happy dog like, oh my god, I'm getting petted. Oh. He was such a happy boy. Yeah, dogs get excited. Can we go back two seconds and just hear what she just said? It might be the most fucking twisted shit. Listen to the way she says this right, right about here. <laughs> Fell flat over and fucking is cracked in a million fucking pieces now. I'm goddamn fucking pissed. <laughs> it's like it's not in a million it's not even in two pieces it's still in one piece it's just like the screen is cracked you're still streaming from it so it's working well enough you're exaggerating okay you're exaggerating God damn fucking piss. <laughs> that should be on the goddamn uh the the the, the, the g-man board that would that be hilarious be I'm getting fucking pissed. I love that. I'm tired of my fucking life. Oh, you want to win the lottery psych? <laughs> oh you. my god. Shut up. Nobody <laughs> believes that. Okay? Nobody believes that. Ew. Yeah, only good girls win the lottery. <laughs> fucking so tired of my fucking life. Oh, break your phone? Oh, sorry, my dog did that. Bye. Yeah, I called the dog over, but that doesn't mean uh, the dog can knock my stuff over and break it. And then my neighbor just <laughs> went, oh. So that means I deserve to get my phone broken in the process? Oh, yeah, I mean, so I deserve everything in my life then. Oh, got it. Phones break.
you you deserve it as much as anybody else does, probably more than most people who get broken phones. Yeah. You, you didn't you didn't deserve that broken phone as much as King Cobra deserved his broken phone when he punched that thing out. Oh my god. <laughs> That's yeah. like asking for it. All right. So, we're going to we're going to hop into the Elisa stuff right now. Um we're going to watch this compilation of uh what how do you say his name? Scoro? However you say his name. The the guy that she slapped. And punched yeah, or whatever. Sc- for now, we'll just call him Scoro because I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, it's spelled weird. So here's here's like a, this kind of goes through their history up until I know how it's spelled. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> like Scoro, I don't know. Anyway, here's here's the history, and then we'll just skip the the part with uh, like the at the end they show like the fight in their car, which we've already seen. So. Let's see. Z Scoro sent fifty bucks. Why is it? Why Lucky. is there no audio? Lucky you, Uncle. Only Hold does on. Throat. Babies. Apparently, it didn't download it with audio because I can't hear it. Uh, give me just a second. I'm gonna grab it. While Ben grabs the audio, uh, those of you that maybe aren't go. up to date, got it. Got it. What? Anyway, the uh, Z, the Z Squirrel guy's been donating millions uh, or at least like a, million. a million dollars to Lisa Jordana. They were low key dating, hooking up, whatever you want to call it. She they says the they together. never hooked up. She did. She says they never did. Yep. He oh. says they did. She says they didn't. Interesting. <laughs> Good to see and hear you. I casted an animal hex on Jessica for her nasty sicko talk about you sweet boys. Thank you. Milo is actually a minion of hell that I summoned with bog juice with Cute a doggy. wand. Well, there you go. Cute doggy. I d- <laughs> Thank you, Jess, bro. Yeah, I, there might have been some music that they cut out of the video for at this... Because the, the audio comes back. I guess here's... Uh, yeah, he's There's doing thousand dollars sent from him. Yes. Didn't you tell me right now, Elisa, to call in because you were gonna apologize? I'm and sorry. You just I said I'm sorry. Sorry. Like a goddamn retard that you are. No, 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 I'll show it. I'll show it. He wants me to show it, so here it is. So I don't know. I love my Elisa. You guys see that? You guys see he's that? a very handsome man. No, he's not. Oh, okay, okay, Jason, hold on. Hey, Penny. Hey, Penny. Hey, Penny. I want to get oh. some of these donos too, Ben. Oh, oh. What's up, Penny? I'm Lisa. Welcome. Penny. The, 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 like, the buttons on his shirt are, like, holding on for dear life. If you notice, oh, no. like when you're wearing a shirt, a button up shirt, and the spaces in between the buttons are like all wide open, you need a bigger shirt. Just saying. Thank you. Thank you. They don't even call She's with like cameras. As well. The tie yeah. is supposed to cover that. <laughs> it's going good. Look down. I can see all kinds of belly down there. Damn. Hold my on. Guy is hold on. It. Is this honest red? Huh. I thought this was honest, right? So far, my only tip is wear an undershirt next time. We can kind of see your belly pop out through the holes. I know, I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm next sorry. caller, next caller. Don't no, 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 he's right. It's because, like, Hello. this is, uh, no, he's 100% okay, right. Okay, IRL customer service, how can I help you? He's 100% right. Well, what, what do you expect? We can see it. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to confirm the guy's right. We, we all have eyes. <laughs> and they should. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is. This is awesome. Um, How many fights have you had? Not Who is the zero. one WHO makes up first? Zero Alisa, assets, will you move back to California? Like also, you like it? please buy him a bigger <laughs> shirt. <laughs> now, she had her hand on his back. Was she trying to keep him from leaving? or? I don't know. So was she giving him the it does, like Her own story doesn't make sense, but anyone who's followed her over the years, this has happened so many times. Where she'll like be in like this pseudo relationship, but nothing ever really fully happens, or if anything, very minimal. And she's getting paid, and she's turning them into content. This guy just happened to have more money than most of them. 
Uh, but it's it's the same thing. There was that psycho Spartan guy for a while that was all like obsessed and had like this crazy freak out on her. She and always who was the who was the weird sicko guy that she was hanging out with? Which one? Was giving her money? The the one that was giving her money and then went to jail after admitting to like doing oh I don't sicko know. stuff at playgrounds. I don't know. I don't know who that is, but. I Jimmy mean, Giordana, I think, was his his, his uh, uh, second name. Uh, cumulatively, right? How much? Did Jimmy the Christian. How much? Yeah. Who, does who? How much? How much is my time worth? How much is this shit worth? I just thought you wanted to do this. I uh, thought, did I? I thought you were. She does. Th- this is a shtick she's done so many times where people are like, "I don't want to do this. Can we do something else?" Well, I'm just gonna do this right now. And they'll be like, well, can you end the stream and we'll do it later? Oh, no, no I'm doing this right now. I'm excited what? for two days. But I want to deal with the cash. She knows if call. she's streaming, she's less likely to have to get his, like, hands on her. Like, when the camera's on, these guys aren't going to make as many moves. She but does you still this see with guys making moves. She here does and there. this with like women she's milking for content, too, that aren't even interested in her. She'll do this, like, same thing. Up, annoying me, insulting me. You think I need this? You don't want to do it? Fuck no, babe. Fuck no, babe. Um, all right. I paid you to stop. Right? Okay, yeah, pay me this time. I thought you were Show having fun. Show me the episode where I was having fun. Every episode. No fucking epi- I paid you a million dollars to stop, and you're I... still doing this. <laughs> okay. I was having so much fun dealing with your dumb, poor cancer, and, and this is what you wanted. Literally, this is... <laughs> Why would you bring cancer here? So, she shouldn't have hit him. Like, I can't defend the actual, like, hitting... But he does seem like like an asshole, you know. He does seem like an asshole. They when bu- a guy gives you a million dollars, he's probably an asshole. I mean, like he could have had like attractive hookers for less than a million dollars, you know. Like I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't. Why? Why it's pay his a woman? father's money, right? Like, I mean, it's his money if he has it. I mean, he gets it from his father, but it's still his money. He could he could have a woman that's actually having sex with him. Like, uh, I, I don't know. Oh, I thought you wanted to do this. I want to do it, Ken. I, you, we were so excited to do this. You're a fucking retard. <laughs> All right. Damn it. Oh, Fuck you, bums. Okay. okay. Oh, he, cha- <laughs> he changed his shirt. <laughs> I was sure. not gonna have his be- man. He was really feeling himself too with that jacket and the tie. He yeah. thought he was looking really good, and then he got caught with the freaking tubby bumpkins punk popping out, and now he's in a white tee. Damn, hey, fuck you, bum. Sucks. Any uh, one wants to call up? You shut the fuck up. Let me answer them. Okay, and fine. You literally, all of you, uh, add up your cumulative wealth uh, and intelligence. Idiots. He's not I even mad he's... that they're streaming. He's mad that he got caught with his tummy out on stream. Self, I ask this all the time. You ever been top 10 in anything you dumb lives? Minus 10 with 16 zeros, pleb. So you think you're not impressive? I have no you're not impressive. I'm okay. impressive. Okay. I'm 10 with 16 I'm zeros. I'm impressive. 16 zeros. Okay. What are you? 16 zeros. Not that. What are you doing? You're calling somebody? Huh? What? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I didn't get to read the rest of your email. I have to end you know, the show, I got to tell you, Ben, I don't have that many zeros, but I've never struggled uh, with a woman on camera like this before. So I got that going for me. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's all right. I was just uh, going to say, if, uh, the, the insults in the chat were pretty weak. If we can pick those up, that would be good. Insults towards hey, it's me. What's that? What is that? Oh, uh-huh. you want me to hang up? Yeah. Okay, okay, I gotta hang up. Wow, she, something, he made her flinch somehow. All right, okay, all right, bye, Rectum. Okay, bye, everybody, love you. So, what, what is that? Is that Please. for the cops? Yeah. Call the cops yeah. on me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hang up? No. You're calling the hang cops up? Okay, I'll, okay, I'll, okay. I'll, all right, bye, everybody, bye. He's gonna call the cops on her? I, I don't know, I would just leave. Okay. Fucking like, right. Okay, I, I ended. Um, retard, we're going to the store. Okay. You're gonna cut this shit down, okay. and you're gonna act like a fucking forty-five year old that you are. I'm not forty-five. Whatever the fuck you are. I'm not forty-five. Whatever the fuck you are, like an adult. I know you're saying that. Cut the, what is it? To make me feel bad. Yeah, because that that's, makes a huge difference if you're forty-six or forty-four, or whatever. If I'm what? You're the mental capacity <laughs> of a nine-year-old. <laughs> I mean, like, you want to fuck her, and you you just said she has the mental capacity of a nine-year-old, so what does that say about you? 
It is I don't cute know. giving giving a girl the pet name retard though. That's 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 sweet. <laughs> He's such an ass. Who cares? Bum donated three dollars. A lot of people are saying she's forty one years old. Yeah, she is. Yeah, I mean, when you get arrested, that's all public, and they put your uh, birthday in it, and your height, and your weight, and all that. This girl looking like I thought. Fr- I thought she was twenty seven. <laughs> this is what I want, right? This is I came here for this. Hold on, let's get into my. If she was twenty seven, that mean if, if she had if she was twenty seven now, that meant that would have meant she was underage when she dated Benji. No, yeah, I, don't I, I, I thought there was like uh, I thought she was claiming to be like twenty seven or thirty three no, on one uh, of her profiles. Thirty five, I think, is was thirty five. Yeah. Okay. We would be you, doing. We would, you, you know how you would know? But she was yeah. doing like the Cobra Starship stuff was what two thousand eight. Uh, I'd have to look and see when that album came out. Because she's been in media for a long time, so she would have to have been very young when she started out in the business. Literally not how it works. Really? Literally, you'll be in the dust in, in five years. I, I will not even know you then. <laughs> I'll be huge and you'll still be nothing. Okay, so shut the fuck up. All right. Hello? Oh, damn. It's weird that he, like, found her through streaming, but now that he's there, he wants her to not stream anymore. And he's, like, he's kind of being like, well, you only got, like, 100 people watching right now. Why are you even doing this? So it's it's strange. Um... He looks wants like Cobra turn the camera off so he can tickle her. Yeah, it looks like Cobra Starship started in 2005 uh and the um I, I'm trying to see Yeah, it looks like uh it was like 2005 2006 when that Snakes on a Plane song came up came out. Mm, yeah. <laughs> long gone. You'll long be ago. nothing. We uh, need her to start dating King Cobra Starship. Your dad for eight percent of your money, and I'll be like a huge YouTuber with a million subs, and I guarantee you that. You know, and I'll ignore you in the chat. In a corner mile, use the left two lanes to turn left on the Wellington train. No, 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 no! It doesn't matter what it is now, because you're you've never achieved anything, so you don't know how. I got a record deal. I was on the radio. You've done absolutely nothing in your life besides being born to your dad. That's what. So that's why you don't know. That's why you don't Ouch. understand how things build. I'm nothing now. I've a very few viewers, but my viewers are women. And families and people. I don't know about that, but okay. That matter. Zero. You have no, no, you're a zero, actually. You're actually exactly what a zero is. Okay. Exactly. You're you have nothing to offer the world. Zero. zero. Nothing. You're you have nothing. You're not creative. You're not interesting. And you're not. Smart. That's what I think of. This is basically like Elisa Jordana's content is basically like the lifetime content of YouTube. It's for women and families. It's like a mix yeah. between ABC Family and Lifetime for Women. Smart, and you don't have a good person. But not at all. <laughs> the entire chat was laughing at me, you fucking retard, huh? who says I'm the biggest, best asset that she has. And as soon as I'm asleep, you fucking dumb cunt, I've asked you ten fucking times not to introduce cancer in my life. You go, oh, you're such a menace. Menace to what, asshole? Do I need extra, like, shit to deal with, dumb cunt? You go, oh, you don't like him because he's in Florida. No, asshole. He's, the, he's a fucking cancer person who constantly lied about me. And, yeah, it is so nice that someone who wants to fuck you, but you're too fucking, like, histrionic and too much of a fucking e-whore not to say, hey, man, I don't want to fuck you. I don't care about your attention, right? So you still take calls when you say, I'm asleep. Fucking Pete laugh, chat is laughing at me. And he goes, yeah, I'm going to drive by, uh, you know, get your number. And goes, yeah, well, what is the joke exactly? And it's not like I fucking told you not to fucking do it 10 fucking times. You understand the fucking song means nothing to me, right? You fucking disrespected me 10 fucking times. Over I don't take no disrespect. Fucking cancer shit. When you, on a daily basis, you tell me I'm fucking right. Uh, cut it out, dumbass. And, and the, you embarrass me in public, you gotta suck my fucking dick in public, bitch. Do it in public? Properly, or, or I told you. What about at all? <laughs> I'm fucking like putting up with this shit, dumbass. See, she went as far as to like kayfabe a marriage license with him. They just didn't turn it in. They literally like filled with out this a. This guy? Yeah, yeah, with. Yeah, the dude that, that she slapped. 
they had a filled out marriage like she goes back and forth like she I, I watched the police body cam video at first she's like oh yeah we have a marriage license we're together he cheated on me and then later on it's like oh actually we're not married we never did anything together like she flips <laughs> so hard you facilitate this bullshit <sighs> dumb cunt you laugh oh you're such a menace right more of, uh, I like how this guy is just uncomfortably in the passenger seat. Who, who is he? Is he driving Uber? What is this? It's Seth Rogen. <laughs> I wish I could do a Seth Rogen laugh. On your life, mayor or me? Who, who can be a bigger menace, dumb cunt? If right, I want I mean, to, I can right? do whatever you want me to do every day. Right. So if whether me. it's that you don't care or whatever, okay. and you be smart enough to fear what I can do to your dumb ass, and don't just fucking disrespect me. Elisa okay. should date Eric July next. Oh, well, he does, <laughs> he's got money. I'm not a fucking Eric July? Dude. People are saying she should hook up with J.F. Gary Epi. Hmm. That you're fucking used to, right? We're the people who fucking humble you, retards, right? Don't don't fucking, like, play with me. I, don't get, I give zero shit, dumbass. My fucking, like, honor is the most important thing. Who will fuck about you. you really have to know <laughs> My that. honor is the most important thing. In your life, aside from the people who use you as a cum dumpster, right? Just fuck it, right? Benji, whoever, right? Andy, there's nobody else. I, 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 I don't think either of them got any. I, I'm, I'm positive Andy Dick got none from Melissa. Can, Benji might can you have. Imagine? Can you imagine saying honor is like your thing and then going on to call a woman a cum dumpster? Like, that is, it's, yeah. It's, not tactful at all no like, you, like if you had honor you would not be talking to anybody this way because you'd have your head held so high this would be so beneath you yeah, right? this is oh. dishonor people who use me as a jizz bucket i'm gonna keep around gonna that, that's good for my boyfriend and husband to fucking deal with I'm not well, why are you talking to fucking bait yeah i got an idea send the dog here i'll fuck I'll, I'll throw it out the window, and that's the problem solved, right? Okay, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, um, set this dude on fire in Minecraft, all right? Because he wants to throw dogs out of a window. I can't stand for that. That that is very gross. Dumb cunt. How much we don't in the throw middle dogs. Of saying, hey, uh, I love send them. me this song. I can't live. Dumb cunt. What the entire chat is laughing. You're either like an Andy Kaufman type of genius, or you're a dumb cunt. I'm going with the latter. To make an investment in such a retard who, who has these mean reversions and, and comes back to, hey, uh, Mark, I appreciate you pointing this shit out, man. And stop banning people who speak facts, dumb cunt. If they're saying the truth, and, 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 hey, go call a tall person and make it, see if they care, right? Facts. Right, it's too much. He went too far. He went too In Elisa's eyes, I think she's counting up all the money he's given her. And she's like, is this worth that is just she's like giving herself a uh, a checklist of every time he calls her a dumb cunt it's like oh that's that's, that's like a ten thousand dollars cut that off she's like has it hit a million yet have i put up with a million dollars worth of shit yet and then finally she decides she's put up with a million dollars worth of shit and that's what she puts hands on him in the car <laughs> <laughs> Well, she found out he was sending money to a a younger woman. So oh yeah, he, she's like that. It wasn't her menu. he wasn't cheating like in a sexual way. He was cheating in a financial way. She wanted all that simp money, and he was giving it to somebody else. Yeah, how dare he? I really don't think I'm like a cum dumpster type because I really like I was if anything I was the opposite of that with all those people I just mentioned. I never even made out with Andy. One time we kissed on the lips. That's it. So for a she really dumpster, doesn't think she was the cum dumpster type. That's so introspective. Definitely wasn't a cum dumpster with Andy. Here's the thing: like Dawn is upset, and like I know, like other women that are watching are very upset. But I gotta say, it, like, doesn't hurt me that much because or at all. Because I know I'm not what he just said. Like he's saying I'm Andy Dick's cum dumpster. Like I didn't even like do anything with Andy, so I know that I mean a lot to yeah. Andy and nothing Andy like that. Andy Dick doesn't even use the dumpster; he just comes everywhere. Yeah. Everyone that you, you were in your life, generally a cum dumpster. You were nothing else. So Kelly People said were I passing should... you around, 
the, in aggregate, you were a cum dumpster. Nobody uh, cum dumpster gave you anything is. out of merit. Everybody wanted to is. jizz in you as it is today. Look at the doctor. Yeah, 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 because you're a retard. Yeah, yeah. You see, Kelly, read the Kelly, what Kelly says. Say it. I mean, you're, you're an evil dumb. I wonder cum. if Elisa and has I'm, autism. <laughs> Well, the way she's answering, like she's like, I really don't think I'm a cum dumpster. She's either like putting on that Andy Kaufman thing that he was just talking about, or she might be a little because who who would respond honestly? Like I really don't think I'm a cum dumpster. You would say, fuck this. She's guy. not. It's part of her <laughs> shtick. Like she knows how you would normally respond to it. It's all <laughs> an act. It's so funny. I will fund them a hundred eggs, okay? You think I can't make your life a living hell, you dumb cunt? Skyro sent $15, you sad loser coping. Try to be at least one one hundredth of cute. My throw away. You untalented 50 year old. I don't get your album. Go back, go back to Twitch, you're more wanted there. I, I like how he's so rich that he can't even be bothered to send a five dollar shit talking no. dono. He's got to spend fifteen. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm requesting right now. Fifteen dollar <laughs> shit talking donos. Thank you. I've ever had on the show. The worst caller. You don't know when to shut the fuck up. Worst caller I've ever heard in history of callers anywhere. Anonymous is better than you. Mayor's a better caller than you. Uh, John Mellencamp, R.I.P. Better caller than you. John Mellencamp's still alive. Joni, better caller than you. Kelly Fox, better caller than you. Egypt Beauty, better caller than you. Lala. This is bad. Lala, better caller. James Worley. Ouch. I don't even like him. I hate him. Better hey, call James him. Worley, shout you know out. Shut the fuck up. You know in comedy or anything. Skara sent $15. Thanks for self-reporting. You're nothing but any woo who says anything for money. Hua. Uh, he spelled it hua uh, like how Emo e Hollywood uh. says. Hua. Uh. Zero integrity. Low life person. Low class. Also, you think him re? I know your gun is why you are hiding. Also, the filters. No one cares what an unfunny re like you say. Don't care what you think. Sorry. I wish I cared more what you think. $10,000. <laughs> Can you unblock one last shot? What do you two lose, babe? What do you two lose, babe? Wow. So she blocked him and he paid her $10,000. <laughs> Holy shit. I actually, I really love this relationship they have. This wow. is so funny. Skyro sent $10,000. Can you unblock? One last shot. What do you to lose, babe? I, I don't want to be called a cum dumb. Created discussions. The superior version. Wow, uh, Justin yeah. Buckner. I the, thought we knew you. The random discussions of an inebriated variety. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, but I appreciate it. I know one. Eventually, someone's going to drop a one hundred and two. Also, you guys know what one hundred and two is. Journey Mark. I don't like that. Someone's saying, "Oh, that's fake." Look at her phone. She has two phones. She has the phone she's streaming on, and the phone she like looks at the chat and does other phone stuff with, and she takes calls. She always has two phones. She has the phone she's streaming with, and she has the phone that she'll like, hi, Kermit and friends, like take random calls from. She might even have three phones. I don't know. I have family watching, and it's embarrassing. I should do something, like something big. I would have to do something big to like switch up like the situation here, because it's obviously like a very bad situation where I'm being like abused. Like through words a lot. Like not every day, but a lot of the days. I'm like so like abused by him. And he's calling me like a cum dumpster and like an idiot. Skoro sent ten thousand dollars in calling to fix things, not to make them worse. All right. Trust. Okay, See, that's why he's on. sending ten thousand dollars instead of fifteen. Babe. <laughs> I literally have a scientific reason for why what occurred. Hear me out. This is great. A scientific reason? Is he a yes. scientist all of a sudden? He's got a scientific reason. <laughs> Skyro sent $10,000. Babe, I literally have a scientific reason for why what occurred. Hear me out. Dude, if a man ever hits me with science, I'm listening. Now it's 25 k <laughs> so he's dropped almost 50k. Uh, this is over 50k. There was three 10k. Oh, there was three 10ks. Oh, was was 10Ks. Okay. Whoa, he's my hero, my hero. Whoa, he's my savior. Won't let me go. Save my life star of my show. To me, and he lied, and he's told her, like he told her, I'm just 
Okay. Okay, this is the stream where the the shit hits the fan, right? And she's crying. Yeah, it's fake. She attacks him in front of the cops, and the cops almost do it. Yeah, so we've seen that. So Elisa did a radio interview just a couple days ago. Was she on TMZ On Tuesday. As well? Yeah. Carl was on last week, and we were going through the Elisa Giordana, the violent clip yes. that uh, she posted of her last IRL stream. Uh, it was two hours and 49 minutes long, I think, and she started hitting this guy. Well, it started out, we had clips of her crying that she had caught him cheating on her. He was contacting this Mexican girl. He had given her a lot of money, too. Tons of money. But uh, he'd given Elise a lot of money, too. And uh, then she's talking about how, well, she really like him. I don't know why he's so attached to him. And she's really mad. She's so mad. And then when confronted with him, because she's still got his phone and his keys, uh, the police are with him because he wants his shit back. Let me uh, think. I mean, she feels she owes in a black. I want to. Like. No, uh, she's he's, 100% he's just, right. Yeah, he's just an ass. They're they're watching the stuff. I want to get to. I know. The, I mean, how, do you what, put a, how can yeah. you cry about it though? Uh, That's insane. Prisoner, prisoner's dilemma, right? Not get charged. It's the prisoner's the one, dilemma. To- it's fair. I thought it was pretty fair. I talked to. How are you doing? I know. Him. All right. Here it is. Now. I wouldn't be surprised if he was charged, too, but I don't think he's been charged. He was not charged. No. Um, plus, he's got plenty of money to not get charged. What's up, you guys? Elisa, it's Drew. Yeah. Drew, in What's Detroit? Up? How are you doing? I know, I know. Okay. Good, good. How are you, how are you guys doing? We're doing fine. We were just watching um, the video that you recommended on your stream where you said this guy's kind of fair. The Atozi. Wait, what video? The one Atozi made, where he does kind of the prequel. Oh, yeah. And Shout out that was to a homie video, Atozi. Right? That's the one we just watched, by the way. I, I love that guy, yeah. Okay. Um, I thought it was pretty... F- did you guys think it was fair? I thought it was pretty fair. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. Yeah, not just the clips. I yeah. thought he did a good job. He did one of the better jobs that I've seen. Okay. Yeah. Here's what I just cannot figure out. Is what? He treats you like complete shit. He is the most unlikable human being I think I've ever seen in my life. I can't understand why you're upset that he's cheating on you even because he's such an asshole. Who cares? I got very attached to him because... uh, Because, uh, okay, let's hear it. He was... uh, I talked to him like every night for like six months. Uh Uh-huh. And... He got very attached to him. He was very she was telling everyone it, it had been like two years, and then it comes out they were like only acquainted for like six months. So she was she was quadrupling the time that they actually were like allegedly an item. Involved in my stream, he was on every show. What did what did he uh, provide that was that was kind or nice though? It seemed like it was money. <laughs> Hold on, hold on one second. Uh, what did you say? It, it just didn't seem like he was ever nice. It seemed like he was always an asshole. He was arrogant as fuck. He's ugly. He's there's nothing attractive about him other than the fact that he gave you a lot of money. I couldn't figure out, besides the money, what was of value to, of him. He, he was so arrogant and entitled. So when, he first, when he first came around, um, he wasn't really like that at first. He, was, he gave a lot of ideas. And he was in my Discord server. She's trying really hard to come up with reasons why she would even want to be associated with him, other than being like, oh, yeah, he was paying me a lot of money. And he went on voice chat this one night, and he was like, let's do something, you know, to make this big. Uh, I have some ideas. And he was like, I don't know, he stood out in that he was really trying to, like, see what my vision was. And he was constantly, like, every conversation we ever had was about my show, right? He so, stroked her that fame was- ego. That's that's a big thing. He has money, and he's telling her he wants to use the money to give her a platform for fame. That's what Elisa is into. She is into fame. Very complimentary to me. And he did have a lot of money. So somebody that has a lot of money like that, that's so interested in what you're doing. Oh, that's nice. I felt like, yeah, I felt like all his attention was on me. But I, but, but, I knew it wasn't. But, 
I, I know it wasn't, but he, uh, it seemed at the time like it was. It just, there was a lot of signs that there was a lot, I was, there was so many bad signs about this person, but I got but, very but attached the, to him because he's the, helping with the show. The one video where you, when you find out about this other woman, you get, you're very upset because he treated you like an investment, but it sounds like you knew that that was part of the deal. So he never, I never like signed anything with him that he was an investor. Um, it wasn't like that during my streams, you could donate songs. And so most people, you know, send in a $3 donation or a $5 mm -hmm. donation, but he would, he would send in like 75,000 at a time. <laughs> <laughs> but Lisa, don't you think yeah. that's, don't you think that's sick in a way? You know, like, I'd probably uh -oh. fall in love with a guy if he sent me $75,000. But she wasn't donation. in love with him. I would fall in love, you know, about as far as she did. <laughs> what if he thinks he owns me? Because he acted like he owns That's you. Really and him. when he says stuff like, you know, I have uh, 15 zeros or whatever. And I mean, when 16. someone says, if someone ever said anything like that to me, I would never want to speak to them again. So it was a combination of things. There's a very horrible parts to him, for sure. He's like arrogant and a liar which is the worst but um he's an arrogant, arrogant liar which is bad but he gave me thousands of hundreds of thousands million dollars <laughs> and in spades for sure yeah i mean he, he's like uh he's like the, he's like satan but the, th the thing is is at the time i was having fun i had a really good cast at that time when he came into the picture and we were just like, you know, doing the IRL and it was flowing very well, but it took a big toll on me after we met. Like when we met, it went downhill so fast. Um, I was in the hospital because I was so distressed from our meeting. I don't know if you guys saw that video when we first met. It's like on the top of my YouTube page and it's uh, is it when, when I went to his apartment. Is it when he changes what? from the black suit to the white T-shirt? Yes. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I saw that, and, yeah. and I thought he was a complete asshole, and I would have thought you would have gone to the airport almost immediately. He was impossible. And, and not so, only that, Elisa, I don't believe you're attracted to him in any way. I mean, honestly, could you have ever slept with that guy? So, it, it was, so first of all, he sent me a bunch of pictures that looked nothing like him. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I then I would have gotten on the plane right back right away. <laughs> yeah, so he, he sent me a bunch of pictures that, listen, I do this too. Like, <clears throat> my Twitter, you know, my Twitter picture is like five years old. So, you know, I, but I, I know people do this, but his pictures are so different <clears throat> than what he looks like. So, I was attracted somewhat to the pictures that he sent he's a young guy he's 41 how ugly can you be at 41 right don't you think that it's not like he's like 70 years old he's, he's just like a guy that's 40 so i i was attracted to him until he sent we facetimed this one time and he was really bad we I, we facetimed during my live stream one time and his face was like all blown up you know he has uh, multiple sclerosis yeah. i don't know yeah. if you guys know no i understand that uh, so, so so i felt bad for him but, like, the main thing was he was so focused on me. He's giving me a, an extreme amount of money. He's so focused on me. He's watching my stream every day. At that point, I'm streaming every day. He's a part of it every second, calling well, in. That sounds he, obsessive, thought, though. That, so, that sounds totally yeah. obsessive. And the money I, the money would make me nervous. These guys are acting giving... like women don't like obsessive men. <laughs> like, what are they talking about? me that kind of money I, I realize some people say oh, what are you an idiot but i would feel like what is this D does this person are they trying to and especially the way he treats you i would feel like this guy thinks he owns me or something it's not his money either it's his dad's money he's just such so an yeah, he, money he, once he sends absolutely. it to her you nailed that that's why it's so easy to give away and i work really hard for my money before him i was working 12 hours a day uh you know, for three dollar donations so you can imagine how hard that is um oh my god so Typically, I would get like people would te uh, send me three dollars every time they sent like a text to speech message. So, you know, when he came in, I went from, you know, streaming 12 hours a day to Her putting streaming. up with him really isn't that weird when you knew how long she was putting up with Jimmy Giordana, who was very creepy. Hmm. Very Six creepy. Six hours a day. He made my life a lot. She easier. put up with T-Bob. She put up with a whole bunch of them. 
The, T Bob was a sweet boy. He didn't give her money. He said he, he gave more money to the girl in the Africa than he gave Elisa. But he wrote her a poem and he sent her presents. The big mistake <laughs> was moving it IRL. She could she see there's there was this comfortable distance that she had when she was just doing the podcast. And it, it she can do she could do just as well just doing the podcast and not actually meeting these dudes. And I thought the IRL got her a bigger viewership and more donos. I don't believe so, but maybe I don't know. I think at first Um, it did. And I don't know. It was just I felt very taken care of. He would send Amazon packages to me every day, like a blanket, a bug zapper, shampoo, like pills for things. He's got nothing else to do. He doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's very obsessed with like webcam girls. Uh, not uh. Just, I'm not really a webcam girl, but other other ones. And so all day, what I think he does is he just like, you know, sends money to people, women, basically women like cam girls, but also me. And I thought there's no way this guy's sending money to other people because how how does he have any money left? But he did he did, he had a lot of money. I, I'm pretty sure his dad cut him off though. So he, he's oh. probably. Because uh, uh, someone called his dad and like recorded it and put it out there. Uh, oh, I, I, damn. I can't remember who did it, but I, I watched the video. Uh, there's a, uh, some people are saying on the Internet that you gave the money back. Is that true? No, no, I didn't give the money back. <laughs> I was just kidding. Um, a lot of that money is not around anymore, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <As if. Yeah. laughs> she worked for that money. Every time he <laughs> called her a, a retard or a dumb bitch or a dumb cunt or whatever, every time he did that, she was earning that money. Did he ever proposition sex or try to do anything? Did he ever put a move on you? He told the cops when the cops came to investigate their issue that they were intimate. And then she was like, no, we're well, she said it separately because they were being talked to separately. Uh, no, um, he talked very sexually to me. But when we met, like, no, not really. It's weird. Like, Hmm. No, I don't even think he was like attracted to me because, like, when we were. I don't know about person, that. It sounded like he was. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, gonna, I think, gonna say that's definitely not the case. Th- yeah, these kind of things are kind of solid giveaways. Like, you knew he's attracted to you. You know this. This is just weird. Feel attractive around him at all? You, you know, well, like he's when you're calling you a dumbass and he's he's acting yeah. like you're a complete I, idiot. I, I, I would like understand why you're not attracted to him, but I would think. I mean, come on, you're beautiful. I would think no, he. No, 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 like. Quit so sipping, radio hosts. It'll bring out your like sexual side or your fun side. When I was around him, I just felt like shit. I felt so bad about myself that I think the cumulatively that's what brought this to happen. Because you know, I spent enough time with him in L.A. That went horrible. Then he came here. That went horrible, obviously. And it just he would always like throw these other women in my face show me pictures they're sending of him you know younger women that are are cam girls for how could you living. stand that how could what? you spend five minutes with him i, I mean honestly i i just I, milking for content the the fights were content it's it's just shit i i feel like elisa larped too hard and actually hit him and then yeah it got out of control yeah he gave her a warning where he was like look you do it again and I'm going to have to do something. And she probably shouldn't have done it again. Right. And then when she did it again, he, you know, he, he did what he did because he's an entitled I mean, millionaire's son. He could, he could have, like, he had her by the hair. And if he wanted to, like, deck her in the face, that would have been the time to do it. And, and he didn't. So there was some kind of restraint there. He gra- well, it was also because she was driving the car. <laughs> like, I mean, he pulled her by. He pulled her hair while she was driving the car and put her head yeah. down, so she couldn't even see. So if he was worried about that, he shouldn't have done anything. See the picture I of you in the car up. with him, and I just go, "Wait, how could Lisa be with that douche? That's impossible." Yeah. And- and why would you and, get so upset about Oh, Elisa's the, the, been very close to many douches over the last few years. The Sarah aspect, then, if you knew about other girls. And- the re- I'll tell you why. Because he, the things, the things that I saw him type to her are the exact sentences, the exact that he said to me. So when he was saying those things <laughs> to me, I felt, um, you know, no matter what he is, I felt like good. Like, you know, he would like compliment me and say... You know, you're my dream girl. He used those same exact words he used on me with her. So that's that was the problem. Is that I? Was- oh, we got 
if that's actually him, we have Zakoro, how however you say his name, in the chat right now, if that's really him. I don't know. Zscoro, I don't know if you're Scoro. the real Zscoro. You should Z-Scor- probably send us 10K. Yeah. To make sure. <laughs> yeah, prove it's the real you. Hit us with that 10K dono. So hurt by that. And I was just hurt by, like, a lot of things, and it just built up so much. And when I found out that I was right, I knew he was cheating on me with, like, several people, but I never saw it written out like that. Mm. And when, when okay, I, uh, that's not how you positioned it, though. I saw it written out like that. It was just, like, so painful. Like, my heart, like, did not recover from that. So I'm still, like, a mess. And it's very hard to deal with right now because, uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of attention for this, which is interesting. And in a couple. It's not. I mean, she. It was funny because she had the opportunity to take the video down. Like, it was up for long after she got out of jail, and then I yeah. think she eventually took it down. But it was up for a while. She even changed the title on it uh, eventually. And I think it was at like four or five hundred thousand views by the time she took it down. Yeah, she's running Always. the fame game. She doesn't want to get rid of that. Like, I know this is a very embarrassing thing, a very bad thing, but I feel like I'm supposed to have some kind of growth uh, from it because there's no way I would have walked away from this guy unless something like this happened. Well, you, you got to um, strike while the iron's hot. So I assume you're. So how do I strike? How do I strike? I don't know how to strike. What am I supposed to do? You um, tell me. Well, I Score of. have a uh, contest to see who the next person you date is. <laughs> I don't know if that's really his account. There's no way to verify if that was real because I didn't even know he had a YouTube channel, so I don't know. I guess one of us is going to have to date him until he calls us a fucking retard, <laughs> and then we'll know. I mean, some guys, like, you know, they're reach- and people think I'm a dominatrix now. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, but um, I really am not. I, I would love to have, like, an incredible guy. Um, I don't know. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I swear, honestly, I. Well, you took a hell of a mugshot, though. I'll say that's a really that was, good. That was yeah, a pretty nice shot. Maybe, maybe yeah, sell some I, merch with that, like Trump or. You know. Yeah. I look fat. She like should have coffee mug, mug shot, mug so, like, you know, shot coffee I, mugs. I look really fat. I, it was a really bad angle. No, it wasn't. That no, was it was like, fine. No. For a mugshot, yeah, it was I'm very good. good. Yeah. Um, no, the mugshot I liked. I yeah. wish I could pull out that mugshot <laughs> more. Go. See, there you go. Sell it. Now, um, how how badly were you hurt? So, so what? People oh, now have- we got Kleenex in here. Like, uh, word word is getting out. Apparently, and she is like when he was pulling my head yeah. down, he was like strangling me. So nobody like they could just see the top of my head. They couldn't see what was happening at the bottom. He's putting his hand over my mouth. They couldn't breathe. I thought a hundred percent I'd be dead that day. I thought. And he was doing that. This guy is going to kill me, and it's going to be on my stream, and that's how I'm going to go. And my yeah, she was like, "He's killing me." He was, I mean, like, he wasn't killing her. He was pulling her as, hair. I mean, he could have streamer. He, he could have killed himself. I mean, the her foot was on the brake. The car was not in park yet. You can see because when she yeah, got no. out of the car, the car moved a little bit. Yeah, you really got to be like ready to go if you're willing to fight somebody who's driving the car you're in. <laughs> Holy shit. She uh if she would have died on camera, is that every serious streamer's like goal? No. You know, don't don't doesn't every watching- serious streamer want to die on camera? No. Watching this, everybody's going to watch me die. That's what was happening in my head. Some of your chatters and, were uh- predicting that. They said what to keep the stream on. Some of your chatters were predicting that. They were saying, keep the stream on. We're scared for you. Yeah, it was it was super scary and uh, very traumatizing. I mean, even even not even this, this situation, when I saw him in L.A., I swear, it was, like, just as traumatizing because I thought he was going to mm. throw me from the balcony because he was so mad at me that time. Um, he was going to shoot so- her? He was going to shug night her. Uh, he was going to hang her from her ankles over the balcony. Let her punk ass go. Look out below. Well, That's why I, I can't so, understand why you were so upset. I can't. I can't fathom yeah, because, why you'd be so upset. Because he was good for business. He's like, but he's that's like one of those love bombers that? that like. <laughs> what? I, I don't know. I, well, Mark said because he's good for business. And I said, but that seemed like something you cry over. I mean, you seem like somebody crying over losing I somebody. Hurt. She was I, mad. I was hurt. 
I was a, I was attached to him. It's like it's like an addiction, like how people are addicted to like okay. drugs. All right. All right. Let like, me let me ask you this: when when you and <laughs> what a terrible explanation. Benji split up. Did you cry Smoking a lot? that Z Scoro pack. I cried at the airport when I left Benji. Yes. Yeah. Okay, but not as much as this. Benji cried when he got fingered, so you could have a writing credit on the Howard Stern show. <laughs> and did Benji. Even- is Benji the guy who's got the most action dating her? I have no idea. I have no, I, I don't know what to believe. I don't know if anything really happened. I mean, the first time she was on Howard Stern, she was positioned as this girl that Benji likes, but she won't. She just wants to be friends with him. And then she got to be on the show. She got like a whole segment on the show. She got to perform her music and everything. All um, right. So let's say uh, you're simping for Elisa. All What's right. worse, giving her a million dollars or letting Perez Hilton finger your butthole? They're two very. D- I mean, like I've had a like a prostate exam before, so I think I could handle it. <laughs> See, Z Scoro's got the Benji hate song. We got the Benji hate diss track. <laughs> I want to compare Benji to this guy because Benji. She claims Benji was the person she called when she went to jail. She'll say that here. Is a phenomenal person. Andy is a phenomenal person. I would never compare them to this person ever. This we person. have uh, we have links blocked in the chat, so you won't be able to post a link here. But I'm sure there's other ways of getting it to us. This person is like the worst person I ever met in my life. Like Andy and Benji, I, you know, I'm, I'm broken up with them, but they're really incredible people. Both of both of them have been there for me. Benji's number. I, you know, you can call people from jail that you remember their number. You can't look at your phone. So I knew my, my mom's number and I knew Benji's number. I called Benji first. Why call Benji before your mom? Think about that. That's, that's, that's who Benji is in my life. I called Benji yeah, it first. Sucks. I'm not good at remembering numbers now that you store everybody's number in your phone. The only number I'd be able to call from jail is 911. And Benji called, you know, everybody that I needed to call. Um, Did Benji so, ask you? Know, you- and then Andy... Did Benji ask you why you cried more about this douche than about Benji? <laughs> no, ben- Benji uh, knew about this guy. And everybody warned me. Benji, I thought Benji was jealous, but, you know. <laughs> I was like, oh, Benji's jealous of this guy. But it wasn't that. He was, he was being real. Everybody on earth did not want me with this person. I it, This is all me. I take full responsibility for this. I shouldn't have been with him for one second. I fucked up. This is very bad. And I, you know, I need help. I need to get help for this because it, I, I was going to a regular therapist. She sucked. We were in therapy the day um, that this happened, and therapy really infuriated me. The, the therapist, him, the whole situation. Wait, if the therapist said anything but lose this douche immediately, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would say they're a horrible therapist. Yeah. yeah. That's not normally how therapists work anyway. Um, they usually kind of talk to you and let you reach your own conclusions about things unless there's like a red flag but normally they would have to like report that sort of thing to the authorities it's my fault i found the cheapest therapist in the <laughs> <laughs> with all that money well, no what did your what your mom say about this nobody's happy with me in the world nobody's happy with me everybody hates me and it's uh, just it's surreal. I mean, I felt hated before many times. Her shrink was on my side. She switched to demon mode mid session. So that's the report we're getting from the. Uh, they went to like, uh, I guess, relationship counseling together. That's before the whole incident occurred. Now, I've said. Of this abusive dude. I'd love to beat him hard. <laughs> He's in the chat right now. Um, I did uh, like I saw it. I can't condone the like hit to the face. That's terrible. I I didn't see I, I, I me looking at the video. I can understand why she got arrested and you didn't. That's Lisa what I'll say. Talks about therapy the same way Tony Soprano does. Tony Soprano fucked his therapist, right? Uh, I think so. I haven't watched yeah. The Sopranos, so. But this is more. This is more than usual. Um, I I took. I talked to Andy about this because Andy goes through things like this a lot. Yeah, he does. And he has, he has such a beautiful attitude towards everything. He's a very simple guy. Uh, he just wants to have like a good meal and watch something on TV. He, he doesn't care 
like I feel things very deeply. I, you know, I'm extremely affected by this. I'm still like heartbroken. I know you guys don't believe it. But, oh, I don't know. You know I don't understand cheating. that. Yeah. I mean, the cheating and the lying, um, uh, is really rough. It's but it, really, really rough. Yeah. But Lisa, if a complete scumbag douche, uh, lies to me, I don't care. Cause they're a scumbag douche. That's what I, you know, well, I it I is what it so, is. I wish I was you. <laughs> I wish I was you because for whatever reason, I, for whatever reason, I'm very hurt by yeah. okay. uh, I, putting my time, putting a lot of time, a lot of energy into someone, talking to them for hours, day and night, uh, you know, including them in my show, which I look at as like my baby, like, the, you know, my IRL live stream. I worked so hard on it. Um, now, we got Z Scoro in the chat. Talk. Lisa is going to court tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Z Scoro, if you're watching, are you going to go to court tomorrow and uh, try and win her back? <laughs> he's not going to win her back. What the fuck are you talking about? I think he can. I think he's I think not he going to try to. He's in show here. For the boom box. He's in here trash talking her. What the fuck are you talking about? Part of it. I, wrote uh, I don't know. I think I can get her back. I. I. I, I don't know. It was. It was um, yeah, it was something I mean, that everybody warned me about. It was yeah. something everybody warned me about, and I didn't listen to. And now I, I need to make big changes in my life. Obviously, I, I can't even stream right now because I'm so depressed. Um, it takes a well, lot it, for me to be motivated. It'll pass. To this this will. I mean, you're already you're already uh, days past this, Elisa. This is going to pass. I I think. I don't know if you want to stream. I, uh, I'd probably, I I'd start it. streaming pretty quick, Why honestly, if, if you could. But if you can't, you can't. I just can't emotionally. Like, I can physically. I just can't emotionally because I'm just so, I don't know. I This, like, fucked me up so bad. Let's try, really let's try and put it in a different perspective. How, how long uh, did this go on? Was it six months? Yeah, like six months, okay. but every day, like it was like a twenty four seven. Very event. intense. And how much? Uh, yeah, how much money did he end up giving you for those six months? Approximately million dollars. Million dollars. Millions. Millions. millions? Mil yeah. Wait, did you say millions? I mean, it, so there's a percentage that they take out. Sure. It, it, okay, it's not a million work. though. If you make like multiple uh, millions, they're not taking away a million out of it. Um, oh my God, he could have given you. Yeah, so he probably did like over a million, but like they take some out. He okay, could have given us you directly. So how much did he do? Oh. I mean, a million, like for six months, and yeah, no, that's a pretty good you know, deal. It ends and yeah, but you would think. So you would think. I would think if I heard about somebody else and I said, "Oh, that person made a million dollars," right? I'd be like, "Oh, wow, that they must not be upset at all. They must be so happy." I am not happy at all right now. Sure. Okay. That 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 money did nothing for my happiness. Zero. Uh but, Zero. but does that have to do so, with because of the attention the public put on it? And then you're getting. I've seen her do this shtick multiple times. So, but not not with like the cops getting involved in the law. But there's always like she finds a guy. Sometimes it's a girl. Like the guy, she's like, oh my god, I I met this guy. I don't know if I really like him, but I guess I'll see what happens. And then she milks him for content, and then they have a like a crazy breakup type thing she did it she did it with a kermit the frog puppet one time yeah yep. <laughs> yeah and then uh and then with women it's a little different usually a lot of the women are like crazy like that one woman that's like super crazy uh, i can't remember her name right now there's one that's like is it egyptian beauty no 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 well there's that's another okay. one there was one that was like super crazy like more than most of them but i can't remember her name right now and then there was, uh, I mean, and she even inherited some of the whack pack from Howard Stern. She got, you know, high pitch Eric and uh, Wendy the retard, they called her back in the day. Uh, Wendy the slow adult. The slow adult, yeah. There was uh, there was some other suit, Tan Mom. Um, there was a couple of them. Arrested. I've never had a problem with Elisa. Like, I've had good dealings with Elisa, but I never... Gave her money, and I never thought I was in a relationship with her or, or anything like that. So, I don't know. Did or is it just the way he uh, treated? Just the hurt. Okay. The hurt. The way I was treated. The way I was arrested. He wasn't. Uh, the public Z perception Scoro of says, me versus what she does is promise not to put me on cam, but then she does. And I can't do anything about it live. It's not like I don't know I look like shit now. Yeah, no, she puts everybody on cam like that. If you look back on her streaming, 
Like, was it Barry Mezzi? There's tons yep, of guys. Barry like, Mezzi, that's another off. one. Turn the camera off. I love Turn it when he, off. I love it when he was all trying to kiss up on her, and she's just kind of like, Barry Mezzi. <laughs> yep. It was so cute. Yep. It was so cute. Him, like he's some angel. Uh, that's nobody, really tough. No, like, Elisa, it, nobody thinks nobody, he's an angel. No one likes him. Read the right comments. Now. No, oh, com- the comments are bullshit. Are First of all, me. I read a lot of comments. No one thinks he's anything but the biggest douche in the world, and no one can I didn't even read those. F- no one I can did not fa- read those comments. I read a lot of those comments, and no one can fathom, what is she doing with that guy? She can do so no. much better. The comments that I... Like, I hate I when guys are like, violent. she could do so you much could better. could do so much better She's- like a disc jockey in Detroit. Yeah, come on. She's fucking spent a year and a half dating Andy Dick. She's not out here trying to do better. She's trying to make content. And criminal and him as like some like uh, mm. disabled guy. <laughs> you know, like mm. I, it looks Oh, well, like, when yeah, it comes like, to hitting how- him, when you were hitting him, yeah, nobody likes that, obviously, because, you know, yeah. you're driving your car and you're, you're hit, popping this guy in the nose. Oh, the cop cam video didn't help you. And the, the, yeah, the, the yeah. cop had already warned you about being physical. <laughs> I saw another one, uh, but I didn't play it because I don't have the raw video. They, I saw the body cam video where they interviewed him and then they interviewed her and then she got cuffed and put in the car. But there's more body cam where she's like in the car talking. She talks way too much for someone who just got arrested, by the way. She kept, well, before she got arrested, she's like, am I going to get arrested? It's like, you're basically telling the cops that you think you did something that you could get arrested for. Don't say anything. Like, literally, don't say anything. Like, uh, other than absolute, like, required information, you shouldn't say anything. Yeah, you can you can hit on the police officers, but make sure you don't hit on them in a way that makes it seem like you're trying to bribe them. Physical, and you know it's all on the stream, and then in the end, he comes after you, and a lot of people felt like, well, that she just drove him crazy, and so he just snapped. And but if that's you know the whole, st- if you know the whole, I, she didn't drive him crazy; she hit him in the face. I don't. I, these guys are. I mean, <laughs> come on, dude. Like. Even even the guys doing the interview are kind of twisting the facts a little bit here. Story. He They're her buddies. Dick. He was always an asshole. I, I, honestly, I think I, I I'm I I always got along with Elisa. I don't have a problem with her, but I mean, she did hit him in the face. You can't really defend that part of it. Ninety nine percent of people would would just find him to be deplorable, absolutely deplorable. No one likes him. I, I don't see comments about that, but what I'm hoping will happen is that it'll come out. I have so many YouTube videos that are on my YouTube channel that explain exactly who he is. So people just took the time to watch them. Uh, it's the like LARPing in the chat. She'd put his money where his mouth is and prove he's him with a dono. Think in the chat, boy. We've been saying, dude. We said it once. You know, any real, any real uh, Z Scoro would have dropped ten thousand right now, asking <laughs> for our hand in marriage. And I, I would, I would, you know, I would say yes. So they put in my yeah. favorites. Open people click on them, and they could. Rapping about what does that say? That thing I posted on YouTube is her rapping about how I'm the best, while she disses all her ex boyfriends and simps. It's meh. It goes, I know he loves me. My bank account tells me. Huh. I know he loves me. catchy hook. My bank account tells me that. See what kind of guy he is. Because I feel like he just looks so innocent and quiet. But, I mean, I I don't know. I I shouldn't care what people think. But it it is very hurtful that I feel that I, I didn't get any justice for how he treated me. Well, um... Well, yeah, everyone wants millions, but uh, you know, I'm uh, I, I I'm not very demanding. But you know, when he said, "If you do that again, I'll deck you," were you uh, you pulled his ear? I think is that what made him snap? Yeah, yeah. No, no. What, what made him you- snap is that he gave her a warning. Yeah, <laughs> like like if 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 a woman did that to me. Um, I'm probably immediately going to respond by twisting her titty and that's without a warning. So a warning is kind of a, it was kind of a nice thing to do.
I would have gone directly to Titty Twister. Titty Put your Twister. hands on me, you catch a Titty Twister. That's my that's my code of ethics as a man. When you did that, titty were you Twister thinking he's not really sends a message? Really gonna deck me, or were you just so mad in that moment that you just had to do it? Uh, <laughs> um, you don't have to do anything. Sarah was on the phone. I don't, I don't think I heard him. I don't think I heard him say that. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I heard him. You know what I've done? Th- like I've streamed about this stuff before, and I'll get both sides arguing in the chat. I've I've seen it multiple times. Like the people will come to defend Elisa, and then they're the people that don't like Elisa, and they like battle in the chat against each other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that, actually, that just made me think of another question. You were so mad at Sarah, and I was like, "But he's the one to be mad at. Why are you mad? At, why were you mad? So mad at her? I shouldn't have been mad. I, I should not have been mad at her. I shouldn't have even called her. I don't know why I did that. But you wanted I to put her like, nudes up, and you wanted to dox her. And well, she started trolling too <laughs> after that. So you know, it just exploded. Yeah, I didn't do. I didn't do anything. I took my video down. It's not that. It's not just her. He's got like twenty of those. He's got twenty. You know, he's got maybe fifty of those. He's just on. You know, he's home all day on the internet buying women. That's what he does. So buying women. I shouldn't have called yeah. her. That's stupid. So what? His dad. Oh, uh, is, I mean, is that part of it? Because now you realize, like, oh, I'm just another one of these women that he's. Yeah, doing. yeah. It makes me feel bad because I thought, and I think, and I still stand by it that I have a great show. And I don't think these other women that he's paying possibly millions of dollars to have. I, you know what? To be honest with you, I always watched Kermit and Friends because it was on like Sunday mornings for me. And I would I, I was doing like exercising in the morning and everything. So I'd watch it while I was exercising. And I liked it. I actually enjoyed it. The yeah, IRL it show, the IRL streams I, I could do without. It, it just wasn't my cup of tea. I felt like. There was something going on with the Kermit and Friends dynamic, and there was a lot of uh, interesting characters that were on there. I was actually on it uh, before, so yeah, I was on Kermit and Friends back in 2016. It's it's been uh, going for a long time. I think the IRL stuff it made for some good clips, including this I clip of her. I don't watch the him. clips because there's usually copyrighted music in them, so I don't watch them on the show or anything. So I don't know. I overall, I think the 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 Kermit and Friends format Great was better, show, in my because opinion. I know the other women that he has, what they're like. So it's just he's putting me in the same category as somebody that you know is sending ass shots of themselves. Yeah. Like he's I don't an, put myself in that category. He's yeah. brain. He's an idiot. Who cares <laughs> what he thinks? I mean, seriously, the sooner you realize that, I yeah. think the sooner you'll be better. Yeah. He, it doesn't matter what he thinks. Man, he's it's a, nice these radio hosts are stroking her ego. <laughs> yeah, I think she was going to do an interview with Bubba the Love Sponge, but I but it never happened. I think Damn maybe it. someone told, probably her lawyer hopefully told her, like, stop doing interviews. Well, tomorrow she has court. So hopefully all this will be behind her and she can start doing interviews. Zero. I mean, you're right. Yeah, I was just going to say, you're right. He is a zero. Yeah, you I said mean, it yourself. And now that his dad has cut him off, he's a bigger zero. He's He has no power yeah. whatsoever. He has I no believe saber. that's 16 zeros. 16 zeros, I'll have you 16 know. 16 zeros. Anything. Until he yeah. ball washes his dad into giving him more money. Oh, gross. Sorry. Well, what I have to do, what I what I figured out is I just need to, the only way for me to move on to the, from this is to just really, like, either work on my stream or something creative where I am using my brain and, you know, so I can get my confidence back. Because my confidence is completely shot right now. Um, do a good stream. Now, Lisa say, gets get her groove back. Back is by hopping on. Why don't you get Andy to do a stream with you? Because Andy's, you yeah. and Andy have chemistry. Andy's funny. People, people are dying to see yeah. what the next thing is. So you might as well give it to him. I know. I just, I don't want to do just anything. I want it to be like a brilliant stream because I know a lot of people are going to be watching. So yeah, I'm just really thinking that way. But my, my emotions right now are just not in the streaming mode unfortunately i wish it, i wish they were well it, I, what feel, people... I feel like shit i feel i don't have an ounce of confidence um i feel gross i i think uh-huh. honestly you should feel more confident now that you've shed this fucking dead weight loser out of your life it, yeah. sh- it should only you're only going up from here 
And you have his money. No, I don't know. Yeah, I got- think she's obviously depressed. She's got a court case tomorrow. Zisco, if you're still watching, show up to the court tomorrow with a gigantic boom He said he's not going playing- to the court. Playing her favorite song and win her back. She needs a win right now. Win her back. Million bucks. But what if I'm going down, though? What if I'm going down? Well, I'll invest that million dollars. What was that? Invest and, yeah, the invest, million dollars. Invest in some equities. Yeah, but like it feels, I know it sounds like a lot of money, but the, the way I felt before, like two years ago when I started doing IRL, I was, I felt so rich back then. I remember my first day that I did streaming, I made $148. Mm-hmm. It was the best day of my life because I was like, I cannot believe that people are paying me $3 a minute to do whatever I want and like perform. It was the best. I was so It was freedom. Happy. Well, they'll pay so you. Then, they'll probably pay you five what? times. They'll probably pay ten times that the first day you go back because a lot yeah. of people will be watching. Where it'll get around. No, no, and- I know. No, no, it's, it's way more now, obviously. But I'm just saying the first day was when I felt the best because I, I couldn't believe that there was something like this where you could be so creative and do everything that I'm good at in one thing. I could, you know, I could speak. I could do a monologue. I could be funny. I could sing. I could dance. I could go to events. I could interview people all in one job that I'm the boss. So it was just so awesome. And then I felt like he took my spirit, you know, you know he gave all that money. He said he was like investing. Uh, we were going to get married. We filled out a marriage certificate and then he really Ugh. broke me. So now I'm associating him with this whole thing. And it's yeah. just hard oh, to don't. work. It's you, hard just to get need, back. you probably just need some time. We're, we're going to let you go, Lisa, but um, I, I hope you're streaming soon. I hope you don't stay in this Thank mindset you. because honestly, this, this will pass. The rest, the arrest, the rest will be the best thing for your stream ever. Oh my god! Um, you know, Do you have Andy's you go lawyers? Streaming. Maybe she get Andy's lawyers on it. <laughs> Andy's. I, I, I'd like to see what her numbers are going to be like when she does stream again. We'll see. Talk to them. They can't <laughs> practice law in Florida. I'm in Florida right oh, okay. now. Oh. Um, but I have a lawyer, and he put he's going to put out a really good statement. Um, and you know, I'm I'm going to pursue this. I really want justice. I want justice. I don't want somebody to just ruin my life and get away scot free. I just don't want that. He, he's no, there's no way your life should should be ruined. I know you feel how you feel, and I respect that. But there's no fucking way your life should be ruined because you have more money in the bank to do what you want to do. It gives you more freedom, and you're free of this fucking load. He's a complete load. But I, I, I know you have to figure this out for yourself. So I'm not going to expect you to. <laughs> Take my word for These, it. Yeah. But it's true. Uh, I, I'm I, right. radio host really isn't getting through to her. <laughs> saying, I, I appreciate what you're saying. I pray you're right. I just hope I to am. get like something out of this that's positive. I don't care what. And um, she's praying yeah, on it. She's it. praying to All Jesus. Right. Well, uh, good luck, Elisa, and we'll be watching for you. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Guys. See ya. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Good Bye. luck. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Once again, it's good. Good looking mug. That's a good mug shot, man. It is a good mug shot. It's a very good mug shot. Gosh, we had cash cows she... that threw us seventy thousand. Are these these know. guys are going to be the next Sims, right? They're, they're going to be dating her next. <laughs> That'll be nice. It sounds like they're. I think they're trying to like get in on the rebound or something. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens with her in court tomorrow. Maybe, maybe she is not doing radio appearances and lives because she wants to get through the court case first. Who knows where it's going to go from here? I don't think I'm going to get Z Scoro to hook back up with her. Unfortunately, how how could she be so upset about this guy? I don't know because it's content. So awful. I think when you find out you're one of twenty, it does kind of crush your spirit a little bit. But if it's one of twenty, but that's the thing though. She falls for this guy. If this guy didn't have money, she would have never fallen for him. I understand that, but you put up with all that bullshit. Oh, it's almost like it doesn't make sense. That abuse from him, and then you find out that. Oh, well, there's all the women that all they do is send an ass photo when he gives them money. Yeah. I, I mean, seriously. I'd feel good uh, that I didn't do that, that the other girls had well, to work harder than I did. I think she does feel good about that, but at the same time, it's like, oh, Jesus, why am I putting up with this abuse? Uh, yeah, she I know, fu- I know. She, I, you, it, it, how I, she feels is how she feels. I, I mean, I, I to think I could talk her out of it is just stupid. I, I'm glad she knows that she If any up. of these I mean, simp whole... radio hosts are listening right now, you guys need to come on Drunken Peasants and defend yourself from this weird simpery. Chill, guys. Chill. Thing with the with the police woman. Oh, she oh, yeah. fucked up big time. I didn't want to rub it in her face, but yeah, she really oh. fucked up. Oh. That was too bad. Yeah, it's like... It-
there were a few verifiable falsehoods that she told the cops in those body cams. I'm wondering, because that's... You can't really lie to cops I like, like how that. he's not on the interview with her right now. Yeah, he's not on the interview with her right now, and now he's like, yeah, she really fucked up. Yeah, in the interview, wow. he was like, no, 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 everybody supports you. Yep. They all think you were an angel. Why? <laughs> well, that's the answer. She should stream soon, though. Oh, oh my God, I'd be back on there right now, right? <laughs> Wouldn't yeah. you? She shouldn't stream until after she goes to court, like in her interest. I, and I, oh, yeah. I, what comments is she? Re- I think she's reading the wrong comments, by the she's way. She's reading comments from people who are saying um, she should have been arrested. She hit him first. Yeah. It's, there's a lot of like. I mean, gen- that's why she got arrested and he didn't. Rachel stuff. says, if you support Elisa now, you are a simp. That's dumb. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. I support Elisa, honestly. I've I've known Elisa for a long time through the internet. Uh, she shouldn't have put her fucking hands on, dude. He gave her the time not to fucking put her hands on again, and she did it again. And that really, like, if if I'm at a point where I'm like, look, keep your fucking hands off me. You touch me again, I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck you up. You you kind of have to do something when she touches you again. It's not a good look for either person at all. But you can't be putting your hands on people and expecting it to be okay when they give you a fucking warning. Yeah. These guys are simping, okay? I I, I, I think Elisa needs to come back. Elisa She's going to come back. She didn't again. even go away. I mean, like, it's... She needs to continue doing all this stuff because that's what Elisa does. Elisa's an entertainer. But, but... These guys are being extra, ooh, woo, 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 simpy, simpy. These guys are going a little too soft trying to condition Elisa. They, they got a shit interview is what I'm saying. I want these guys to come on like men, go head to head with Ben and I, and then simp for us the way they simp for her because I'm jealous. <laughs> ah, But... At the end of the day, what happened happened, and worse has happened on IRL. And, uh, you know, I think Z Score in the chat today said she wanted to do a big stream so she could wa- not stream for a while. Whether what he said was true or not, that's kind of what happened. <laughs> Elisa definitely knows. What she's doing, even when she doesn't quite know what she's doing, she is an entertainer. It's in her to go too far. It's in her to take things beyond. That's why she keeps doing streams with people and they keep ending in a fiasco. It happens a lot. There's probably two dozen streams with Elisa and somebody else that ends in a meltdown. This one just happened to get her national notoriety again, which is what she's been going for this entire time. I remember Whether, I I remember like Wheezy was like a huge Elisa fan, kind of like her like not one of her simps, but he was like, you know, her co-host basically. Yeah. And yeah, he, he got the vibe and he ran with it. And did the wrap up show, but then they had a falling out. Too. So it's too bad. But people don't feel I sorry for her. was going to be her forever, dude. Her? I oh, think for getting arrested. But they that doesn't mean they like him. No, he's a piece of shit. Uh, did you do no wacky? Or is it like, is <laughs> yeah, it, I, did, I did Luke. You did Luke, okay. God, so signal Ronda harder. Lady Jane's, hey, go get a nice uh, award-winning haircut experience. We can walk into any Lady Jane's to get that done. They have tons of talented uh, stylists. They always have competitions. Oh, they're doing and, a, and, um, they're doing a yeah. haircut ad now. Yeah, are they, they're probably wrapped up, huh? That you can enter, so check out. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um, all right, let's uh, let's check something else out. By the way, quick reminder: we're doing our live reaction to Death Stalker Four immediately following this episode. So uh, sign up, patrons, ten dollars and above. Sign up, Patreon.com. Death Stalker. Sign up at patreon.com slash DP, $10 and above. You can watch the movie live with us immediately following this episode. We'll be doing it shortly after. Um, 
And also, if you sign up right now at the thirty-three or at the fifty-dollar perk, anytime between now and the end of this month, you can get this cool shirt. As you see right here, and then if you sign up at the $33 level, you can get it in sticker form. So, check that out. Do it now. Yeah, if Z-Scoro's still in here, look at those two hot girls there. Send them $10,000. It's Ben and I. Someone drew us as hot girls. Yeah. Um... Okay, we are, let's see, yeah, about two hours in. Let's check out, uh, we got, oh God. Let's check out uh, Wild Bill for America really quick while I find something else too. Look, there's a little doggy, oh my God. Now, okay, this is my favorite Wild Bill video ever. The corruption of the federal court system is one of the greatest dangers that we face. And the corruption goes right to the top, to Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts, an unelected bureaucrat who has... Yeah, no judges are elected. They're, they're put there by elected officials. Dictator-like control over corrupt federal courts for years he'd be fine with the judge if he ruled his way all the time ethically despicable politics have been rammed down our throats by corrupt federal judges for instance how did we end up with men marrying men in america i i don't know what this so what was he replying to with the bullshit what what did because you were saying a bunch of stuff what like what is he saying what what, what is he uh, saying is bullshit Z Scoro. I don't know. It probably had something to do with me saying he should send ten thousand dollars to the girls on the sticker. I don't know. Uh oh. While Bill is saying that uh men shouldn't be able to marry men, that's not a new thing. My mom and dad were married by a man. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Did Congress pass a law making it legal? No, they did not. They knew the American people would crucify them if they even suggested something like that. Did the American people go on election day and vote to have same-sex marriage? No. A few states tried it, and it was overwhelmingly voted down. Even California said no to homosexual marriage. So why is the United States now Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0? Corrupt federal judges. They banged their gavels and made homosexual marriage the law in America. Oh, but Bill, judges have no power to make law. Only Congress can do that. Well, <laughs> welcome to John Roberts' union of corrupt judges who are working with a corrupted Department of Justice. The real question to is, why haven't one of you all donated $10,000 doll hair? For real? He needs 10 grand the same way Mild Bill needs a gay guy named Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody watching should be able to send us $10,000, not just Z-Scoro. Violate the Constitution and to tear down everything good in America. With the prosecution slash persecution of President Trump, they are destroying free and fair elections, without which American freedom cannot survive. The moral foundations of this nation are being torn down. For 230 years, the Bible was the number one textbook in all American schools. The first United States Congress... It was never a textbook. That's ridiculous. Bibles ...for use in public schools. Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson insisted that the Bible be taught in American schools because... That's not true either. Jefferson made his own Bible that removed all the magic, that all the Jesus they magic knew from a it. a morally decent education was the best way to give young people a good start in life. So... If the men who wrote the United States Constitution insisted on those things, how can they possibly be unconstitutional? Obviously, they are not. But corrupted federal judges banged their gavels and outlawed the teaching of our Christian heritage and Christian morality in American schools. Those schools are now cesspools of moral filth and violence. All right, I, I can't even take Wild Bill. Uh... And it, like I, I'm, I'm gonna move on to something else. Ooh, I get to use this. Hold on. All 
All right. What's going on, guys? It's Jared Genesis here. All right, I'm gonna play the other one. Who made these? So, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I actually took the, um, uh, let's just grab it here. <laughs> I took the stand off my monitor, which I know probably isn't the best of all ideas, but, um. <laughs> that I has a nice milky nastiness all over it. Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> Oh. That's there's a layer of milky nastiness covering everything. He scooted oh. back a little bit, and I have to say the background. I feel like looks if he more... put that computer monitor base. Wild Bill is the epitome of Dunning Kruger effect. Dude has no deep knowledge of American history. He just knows it like he tells it, because he he's full of bullshit. If Jared puts that computer base into a, a bucket of water, it will turn into a gallon of two percent milk. <laughs> even so i don't know i would say let me know in the comments <laughs> but i forgot i turned my comments off i said that last video i was like oh wait a second <laughs> never mind uh fucking stupid trolls ruined that but that's all good man um <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that right now bro um <clears throat> but yeah man i just want to talk about match of the gathering because i gotta say man i started Almost, I mean, not quite, but like shortly after the game actually came out, um, it was like 97. I think it came out in 94, maybe even earlier. I don't, I don't really remember, dude. Not, came out look it up, three, Jared. Look it, it right. up, 1993, Jared. Magic the Gathering came out in 1993. The original set Alpha debuted with such. Major cards as Black Lotus, Mox Ruby, and Underground Sea. The, the next I'm two sets. Man. I don't want to. I don't I'm give a limited. shit, Billy. Billy, I don't give a shit. And, and I've seen Magic grow to the complete Goliath that it is today. Uh, Got to get the swagger hat. Mm. It was on his floor. Perfect. Um, and, you know, I'm not trying to be Mr. fucking elitist here or anything like that. <laughs> but I just wanted to say this, uh, dude. I'm it's funny because he hates elitists all the time, but he is very elitist about everything. But he has no right to be. That's that's the craziest part. I mean, I think my Here's opinion. Some money for having to endure the PDF I Limax Jared. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everybody pay the piper. Yeah. I'll tell you what. If someone out there see, like, we don't get the ten thousand dollar donos. We don't. We don't get. We don't even get one thousand dollar donos. But if someone drops a one o two, I'm gonna be so happy right now. Just one one o two dono. Uh, I will be happy. Billy will die inside. It'll be amazing does matter 102 on don't know I'm, I'm not just someone who started playing when you know arena came out i started playing no oh no no you played years ago when it came out because you're old enough to to have done that but you made a video about how much magic sucked and how it was probably gonna die soon and all that and then like a week later you started playing arena because arena's free to play and you don't have to buy cards or anything like that and now he got to like diamond tier or something like that but i guess that's not even that good of a tier on arena i don't even know if he's just sitting around playing More arena all day <laughs> Goddamn, uh, you know <laughs> when motherfuckers just use dice you know before there were actual even counter cards okay where you could get all fancy with that bullshit um and i just have to say this man you know the heart and soul of magic it seems to have been dead for a good while <laughs> and with that said though i mean there are some still fun sets like phyrexia i mean phyrexia is actually one of my favorite sets because i love poison and shit or infect as it used to be called even though technically it is two different things it still has to do with poison counters but i digress um <clears throat> Let's just get on with the meat and potatoes here, guys. Um, 
Oh boy, the president, you know, fucking um, whatever her name is. I don't know, Miss fucking. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna talk about somebody, gonna but I don't know their name. I know Wizards is a sinking Cynthia ship. Cynthia Williams. Is that the so the Wizards of the Coast president? Yes, she stepped down. <laughs> fucking uh, yeah, she probably retired. Um, she's no longer with Wizards. So I would imagine she just took her stock and ran with it, and she's like, you know what? I mean, just because you stop working for a company doesn't mean you have to sell the stock. Jared is slowly turning into a Christian neckbeard. He's even got the fedora. Hell yeah! (laughs) That shit is so good! My underage lady? in peace i know this shit is fucking screwed i mean let's just be honest it's been failing left and right with all the sets that have been coming out it hasn't been doing good for a while lords of the Ring. okay so seth looks says she came from microsoft it was a weird choice uh if you know how close microsoft headquarters is to wizards headquarters it's not really i mean like they're in what are they like a half hour drive from each other i, I sure. don't know uh like Hasbro's out on the East Coast, but uh, she might have just she might have been located in the area, and that's why they brought her in. But I wonder how much stuff she was doing from this area versus back in Hasbro. Yeah, because the Wizards of the Coast is she Hasbro CEO or Wizards of the Coast? I thought it was Wizards. Okay, so the Wizards of the Coast headquarters is in Renton, and the Microsoft headquarters is in Redmond. So it was like literally it's like a half hour drive from each other. So at least like in the area, she wouldn't have had to like move to a new place or anything like that. The previous say. CEO, Chris Cox, is currently the CEO of Hasbro, hmm. which is the coast is the big money maker for Hasbro right now. Thank you. So much. coming through with the gifted peasants memberships. Dave magic. I, I really doubt that. Um, and you know, all I have to say is this, dude. Um, I don't know, man. All good things come to an end. When the soul is gone, there's really no point in even supporting it anymore. I mean, I play the game. Yeah, you support it by playing it. Are there ads on it since it's a free game? I don't know. I haven't. Um, I haven't played it in a long time. No, it's. I don't think it's ads. It's. Uh... You get people to buy over-the-top stuff. Ah, uh, So the like, majority of the people that are playing are, like, buying over-the-top and paying for stuff over-the-top. You're paying to win, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, I am supporting it, you know, by playing MTG Arena, but I do not give a cent to Wizards of the Coast. I do not give a cent to Hasbro. They can go eat a dick. Uh, these motherfuckers, you know, they just want to scam you, dude. They don't care about quality. I mean, if you play Paper Magic, you know what I'm talking about. The quality has gotten insanely bad, bro. I've Paper Magic? Seen yeah. it. Cards. Watching, uh, People who have the cards. What's his name? Shoutouts to Magic Astoria, and that guy's a real one. I watch him a lot, man. He's funny as fuck. Um, his live streams are fucking hilarious. My bones the guy, you know, crazy as fuck. It's great seeing uh, people still like that on YouTube. It's very refreshing. But um, <clears throat> drinking some. Yeah, if he I-hop. had any money, he would be making in-game account purchases. 100%. Yes, one hundred percent. He doesn't have any money. Coffee today. He's not so giving got- them any money because he's literally not giving anyone any money. He doesn't have an ID. He doesn't have a bank account. He doesn't have anything a man in his late thirties probably should have something new it's pretty fucking killer um definitely kick you in the ass um ooh, oh he just snot rocket dude you know how many dried boogies there probably are on his bedroom yeah, floor that was, that was definitely not duster that was weird like a booger stuck in my nose or something i don't know <laughs> gross i'll tell you something though man those fucking air fresheners i just can't hack those anymore dude I got a migraine, uh, fucking, I want to show you what they look like. It says the ones that are shaped like a tree. Uh-huh. Um, <sighs> Does he just... That Jared's hat will soon Thank be you! His t-shirts. Yeah, maybe. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was brought in from Microsoft because WoTC is pushing D and D to be an online game, but sales are way down right now for several reasons. That'd be yeah, cool. Yeah, they to were play. trying to push. Go ahead. They were trying to push D and D online, but one of the ways they were doing it was to kind of take away functionality and playability from people uh, that had already been using that form of the D&D rule book and it got a huge backlash. There was a huge backlash when they said they were going to take away what they were already allowing people to do and th there might even be precedent where they're not e they're not able to take it away so it became a a legal quandary as well as a very like big fan player base backlash and that and that's why one of the reasons why they haven't brought it fully online yet because they really uh stirred up a a, a hive of bees a swarm of bees on is that it one. uh is it based on like any specific D D universe is is it like forgotten realms or uh is it like where's Baldur's gate set in i think Baldur's gate is in the forgotten Realms. okay that's what i thought so like is it going to be like that is it going to be like the new Baldur's gate game but online like M multiplayer I think it was going to be like uh, where you could host your games online and uh, play like like you were playing D and D, right? So I think you'd be able oh, to apply that whatever you wanted to to it. Okay, well, so the, they they were trying to have a way to make it be more um, player based, but it was in a way where they were going to have to cut out the way certain people were doing it for the longest time. A lot of the live streamers that stream Dungeons and Dragons, it would have impeded on what they were doing. And it pissed off a lot of people. A virtual tabletop. Yeah, okay, that's what it was. It wasn't actually like like a graphical game like Baldur's Gate. Um, yeah, which so, they did very well. That was Game of the Year. And then the company that made it is no longer working with uh, Wizards of the Coast on games. They're going to go do their own games. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. That answers my question. I had one hanging on my wall. <laughs> These things. Yeah, he oh, I thought hangs, it was a booger. <laughs> he hangs car air fresheners in his room to like cover up the smell. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh my god. He had a bunch of mold under his mattress that he had to clean up. That's why he's working up boogies and stuff. He's uh. got black mold in his lungs. Be careful with these things. Um, he's good. he's about to say that's why he got a migraine is because of that. It's like, no, you're breathing in mold spores. Yeah, it's probably the mold. Hopefully it's a tumor. I don't know what it is, bro, but, like, I think there's <laughs> something in those shits, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, who the fuck knows what's in those things? <laughs> but I don't know if it's just been messing with my allergies or what, but... It no, could you be, got, you know. Oh, you're just gross. That's the problem, yeah. Jared. You're just gross. I mean, there are Please. allergies this time of year for sure cuz, you know, all the plants are pollinating and well, not all, but a lot of them are. So, uh, yeah, maybe he is having allergies or maybe he has a tumor, a brain tumor. Oh, the season change, <laughs> uh, it's probably that too, but the seasonal change is what makes the allergies happen. Oh, man, I'm telling you guys like oh. You gotta be careful with that shit because I like how he's blaming a fucking car. You know how many people have those in their cars and they sit in like a bubble, basically, and that's in their car. Like if those were toxic and they were killing people, we'd know by now. Or like even giving us migraines. It's not that, Jared. It's not that. Uh, could it be anything other than the air freshener in your room? I, I see. A, I spy with my little eye a lot of other allergens, Jared. Yeah. I know there's got to be some kind of toxic chemicals, and he's like, I don't trust anyone, bro. I don't. That if you if you really thought they had toxic chemicals, he would like throw it in the garbage outside of his house or something. I don't he's even just put gonna on lick it now. On sunscreen or not sunscreen, but um, but um. Yeah, I don't even put on bug spray anymore, dude. I just wear my fucking windbreaker and put on some pants, dude. You know what I'm saying? So what? Okay, he lives, like, in southeast Texas, very hot and humid part of the country. But he goes, instead of putting on 
insect repellent. I'm sure they get mad mosquitoes down there. Instead of putting on insect repellent, he go, he wears a jacket and long pants when it's probably like 100 degrees. Like fucking pajamas or whatever. Yeah, I do not trust anything these days. We but know that's why your disc that's why you deleted your own Discord after like 2 weeks. He's so paranoid, he can't build a Discord. He's just so all of his comments are turned off too. He has comments to all of his videos turned off. Yeah, at the beginning of this video, he was saying, "Oh, I would say leave a comment." I did in the last video, and I realized I have them turned off. Yeah, I digress. I didn't mean to go. Off. I digress. Wow, he's been watching Cobra. Topic too much there. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, man. Uh, shout outs to Magic Historian though; he's a real one. <laughs> And, um, when you think about it, the hollow novels in Star Trek are basically VR RPGs. Hmm. I don't know what else to say, really, man, except this, you know. Good things come and go, guys. It is what it is. Uh, magic, and I, I don't mean to be the pessimistic asshole, but... That's what you are, though. I mean, I, I think it's safe to say it's it's a dying game. Uh, I don't really yeah, see Yeah, people have being... been saying that for a long time. It's and still the people around. you're talking about watching, the magic historian, he's saying it's a dying game because saying it's a dying game gets you views. And it gets you views because it's not actually a dying game. People are playing it so much that they're going to watch people tell them it's dying because they're getting fatigued from actually playing the game. That's how alive the game is, is that there's a whole economy based on the downfall of magic while there's an entire economy based on the upward trend of magic. It's a billion dollar game. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ah! Revived wow. at this point. I don't think the creators even care to revive it. I think they're just trying to take the money and run, you know, like what the fucking president did. I mean, they gave it to Hasbro of all fucking companies. They didn't give it to Hasbro. <laughs> they didn't give it to them. Hasbro Jeez. bought Wizards of the Coast in the year 2000. I remember when Wizards of the Coast bought TSR. When it was like, holy shit, the the magic, the gathering company is buying Dungeons and Dragons and all the stuff that comes with it, which was a lot. It was like it was like 25 years worth of stuff, maybe even more, maybe like 30. Yeah. I know TSR started in like the 70s at some point. You know, and Hasbro has a history of suckage. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, for example. <laughs> Another series that got ruined, but... Might have been the 60s. What am I trying to say, man? I don't think it was um, the 60s. I don't know, dude. You know what's funny, though? I just thought of something, too. Like, with the rise of AI, <laughs> I mean, almost anyone could make a card game now. 1973 is when TSR was founded. That's crazy to think about. Um, and I, I see a lot of people, when I was on Twitter, who would, like, make their own cards. So it's like, you know what, dude? I think magic fell out. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, I think that air freshener shit did something to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the air freshener. That's what it is. I'm and now you're sitting right next to it. You think it's toxic, yet you got it and brought it over like right next to you. Never putting another one of those in my room. Whoever made those Jared Austin Powers bumpers, you are a genius. They make your coverage of him even funnier. But he's still more entertaining than Mild Bill. He sucks he so bad I mute the stream until you move on from him. It was Revolting Machine from our Discord. Yeah, whoever made that is, is it's totally revolting made the Jared machine. segments better. I need like a hundred of these. <laughs> like a hundred different ones. Thank you. Yeah, whoever made that, make a hundred more. Yeah, um, anyway. Um, fucking hell. I think that, um, magic fell off at the perfect time because now it's like <laughs> we can all just make our own magic cards. You know what I'm saying? Just get a printer, you know, get some of that, uh, what is it that artists use, you know, that special kind of, uh, printing material. 
You can make your own Paper? fucking cards. I mean, who needs Hasbro anymore? Who needs I would call it like card stock. Like if I was going to print uh, that like... That's exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> wizards anymore. You know what I mean? We'll just make our own fucking cards. Who cares? And that's the cool thing is once Wizards we'll take our the five dollars and start our own podcast. We can totally, you know, use their fucking characters and not get sued. We, we can use anything that they've made. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to the demise of Wizards for that very reason. Listen, man. Okay. Why? Okay. You enjoy the game. You've, you've made it a huge part of your identity, <laughs> honestly. Why do you want the game to go away? You want even less things to do? I don't, I don't understand. He's not going to stop playing the game. This is just him bitching about something that he's going to literally do the opposite of nothing about. He's going to play more after this. I don't give a fuck about MTG Arena. Most people on there are fucking plebs, okay? Everybody plays stupid token decks, stupid fucking planeswalker spam. It's it's really not even that fun, you know. I just do it to kill time. Plus, I like I said, I love Phyrexia, so I play a lot of poison stuff. But <clears throat> it's not fun, bro. Like, there's just a bunch of stands on there, dude. People who really, you know. Like, that's the thing, bro. Back in the day, and I just want to rant here, old man rant. Dude, back in the day, you had to know how to do different strategies. Like, there was no Planeswalker spam. You know what I mean? You didn't have help from your little fucking Jace or your goddamn Gideons. Okay? You, you had to be more creative, man. Like you did. And I, I don't need to knock people too much on what they play. I mean, I play a few Planeswalkers myself, don't get it twisted. But, like, yeah, man, I mean, a lot of players these days, they just, they solely rely on those motherfuckers. They'll have, like, 20 of them in their decks, dude. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, bro. Yeah, I don't get the lingo. It gets so... I do. He's just complaining because they make Planeswalkers powerful cards because they're the cards that people chase after that sell the set. If okay. they didn't make planeswalkers, it would be uh, some badass creature he'd be complaining about right now, or some badass enchantment. It's actually a lot easier to play against planeswalkers with the removal available than it was against people who would have straight up control that would just counterspell everything. Stupid. Just, you know, having to like wait 10 minutes for them to do everything each turn with all their little. You know, their little friends, their fucking, uh, <laughs> I don't know, their little fucking, um, that's just, I'm trying to think of the word, you know, their stupid little magic gang or whatever, uh, fucking, uh, I know I sound like a jaded old boomer, guys, you'll have to forgive me, but magic was just better back in the day. It, he, he does this with everything. He, like nothing new is good. Everything. I mean, I'm surprised he's not like a ripover simp. Maybe he doesn't know about it. But his mindset <laughs> is perfect for ripoverse fandom. It's the only thing holding him back is that he can't afford all the bullshit they're selling. Exactly. All the ripper simps have jobs and they blow their money on the stupid well, fucking comic books. Jared can't do that. Kendall does it without buying the stuff. Kendall admittingly has not bought any of Eric July's stuff, but he's a big yeah. fan. He's actually a brokey. He's a blokey. <laughs> Woo! Was, dude. Um, it's become so watered down, in my opinion. And I, I think a lot of people recognize that. I may not hear it from a lot of people, but... I know I'm not the only one that thinks this. Like, the heart and soul, it just seems to be gone. And... I don't know, dude. I mean, <laughs> like I said, man, it is what it fucking is. Maybe magic will somehow continue on, you know, maybe somehow. I mean, I it's don't... gonna be just fine. Yeah, I don't think they're losing money or anything, so I don't know. They're making tons of money. Yeah. Their last uh their last big set, not not the last big set, the last they're one was Murders at Carlove Manor. People who are against artificers and firearms being allowed in D and D at all.
If I want to have muskets in my campaign, I'm going to have muskets in my campaign. Yeah, people are mad that there's muskets and 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 giant uh, droids, mechs, mech suits. We need a the, Second uh, Amendment in Magic: The Gathering. A Second Amendment, I last, say. We do, we do. Well, just the new set, the the outlaws at Thunder Junction, they went back to the Wild West. And they're sharpshooters, man. They're sharpshooters, Ben. Wow, they got wow, cowboy West. hats. The three, the two sets before this one. Wow, the, wow, West. The Ixalan, the 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 the, the Ixalan set with dinosaurs is uh, the, the second best-selling collector booster box of all time. Jared's so smart. Tiny Bones is back. Ba, 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 ba. They had Jurassic <laughs> Park cards. The Jurassic Park cards were. Over the top, uh, people love some them. Some kind of miraculous set will save them, or fucking I don't know what else. Um, maybe Wizards will make another card game that will somehow save Magic. I don't know, dude. Um, I mean, who the fuck really knows, man? He does not this. only is Magic not hurting. Jared's literally going to continue playing Magic for a long time. He's not quitting. So Smarty, hey, Smarty. Smarty's showing up. So I, uh, he'll he'll be here eventually. Um, if you get home and you want to watch the 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 Death Stalker four with us, patrons ten dollars and above are going to be able to watch directly after tonight's episode. Get yourself on the Patreon. Maybe Smarty will watch with us. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um... They, they've got some funny gimmicks that seem to save their ass a lot, like with Fallout Magic coming out. Go super extra mega woke and make a female space marine card. Oh, what are you doing? And what are you no. doing, Seth Looks? He, Jared does the same shit to, like, uh, successful YouTubers. And he'll be like, delete your channel and just make a new one and do something else. It's so weird because they're still successful doing it. Why would they do that just because Jared's mad about it? I think there was even like a Street Fighter set of magic. Uh, I had a guy show me that one time. It's like, dude, you guys, I mean, <laughs> apparently it works. Yeah, you know, I think it it's works. It's corny as hell. Okay, um, then don't use those cards. I, I think that they just... Re- you don't even have cards. I, I bet you he has hardly any cards. Yeah, I'm sure he hasn't bought any cards for a very long time. If he has some, they're little boxes sitting somewhere. We uh, are out of ideas, to be honest with you guys, and that's why they have to rely on these kinds of fucking gimmicks. But, I mean, if that saves their ass, whatever. I'm, I, I'm very indifferent at this point. But look, I mean, I'll admit, dude, I would be kind of sad if Magic stopped making cards. You know, I... You just said you'd be happy <laughs> if they stopped! This is the point in the video where Jared completely flip-flops on exactly what he was saying yep. at the beginning. It's this true. happens almost every video. I would be a little bit sad if Wizards... Um, uh, would I, though? I, <laughs> I have to kind of think about that. Uh, if did go out of business. Yeah, I guess I would be a tiny bit sad, but I think that's only just because magic has been part of my life for so long. And um, I don't know, dude. I just <sighs> what am I trying to say, man? Um... <laughs> I'll leave you guys with this, just to prove to you that I'm an old boomer. This just caught my eye. Hopefully my PC doesn't fall over. Uh, gotta be careful here. <laughs> his PC? What is it? Where's Maybe his PC? Not a good idea this was. What is he doing? <laughs> Just to prove to you guys. Did he have his PC on top of a magazine? <laughs> what? I, Looks like he's got an old copy of. I the really have an old. Why was it under his computer though? Little magic player. I got a little treat for you here. Um, <clears throat> I've had a dollar for every time Jared contradicted himself halfway through a video. I could buy a house in the Hollywood Hills. You could. So this is a Wizards of the Coast magazine called Duelist. And as you can see, where is it? Uh, I think it's on. The- he's a hoarder, but he's one of those kind of hoarders that just he doesn't want uh, to keep his stuff nice. He wants to almost like destroy it. 
It's weird. That's why all the <laughs> shit is all over his walls. He said a lot of the shit on the walls are magazine clippings from like 20 year old magazines that he had to be fair this magazine is in pretty good condition for being 25 mm. years old it was under it was under his computer right and we got the date he'll cut it up eventually um, <laughs> let's see here do, 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 do. Oh, it's probably on the back Nope. <laughs> well, here's some proof right here. <laughs> Coming 1999. So I would imagine this is probably like 98, 99. Um, just thought I'd show you guys. Driver just got pulled over for BS. What the hell, that bro? That sucks. I hate when that... When, like, I, Are you okay? I mean, if he's... Sending donos, he's okay. A little bit. He still has his phone. He's not like. Be... He's probably the the interaction is probably over at this point. Um, I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's some cool stuff in here. I honestly don't even remember these magazines that well. I was just using it to hold up my PC. How is it holding <laughs> up his PC? What does that mean? How does a magazine hold up a PC? I mean, How does that look happen? at this fucking room, Ben. Look at this fucking room. I don't. I, hold I, on. Can I, someone I show me? It? Can someone like draw a diagram to to let me know how a PC helps you hold up, or a, a magazine helps you hold up a PC? How? I don't think any normal mind would understand that. I don't understand it. But looking at this room, I can I can understand why he would be doing something as stupid as that. What is it holding up? <laughs> But uh, they also would like advertise other nerdy shit. <laughs> you, know <laughs> you know what I'm I mean? You know what I'm saying, bro? This was the book for your ideal fucking neckbeard virgin. Uh, but how is that holding it up? Such as myself. <laughs> is, he makes. Is it gonna fall down if you don't put a magazine under it? Yeah, I don't man. understand. Uh, they also had like a you know an index. These were the days before you looked online for stuff. Um, Give you all the different information on all the cards. So yeah, bro, there you go, a piece of history right here. So I think it's weird. Jared must sit very crooked because if you notice, the camera is crooked. If you look at his wall <laughs> and the, like how it meets the ceiling, but he's sitting up. Like, is he crooked? He might be on a broken chair. Anyways, guys, that's what I got for you today. You could have a hunch. And, um, you know, good luck to you, wizards. I don't really know what to say. Sorry to be such a pessimist, guys. You don't know what anyways, to say, but you just spent 25 fucking minutes saying it. Watch Deputy and, uh, dipshit. Next time. Peace. Ben, play that tag. Now we got to play the other one. How he like points at the end of the one. Oh God, that's beautiful. Um, <laughs> what else we got? We got where is Smarty said he's on the way, but he's still not. I he has the link, so he can hop in. He said he's doing fifty and a third. I don't want I him to die. Okay. I hope he's okay. Be safe. Yeah, we don't need multiple members of the audience getting pulled over by the police. We don't need yeah, that. Or especially Smarty, who was supposed to be on the show tonight getting pulled over. We don't need that. Yeah. Um, whoo. Oh, did you see, like, there's this weird thing where uh, Nerd Roddick, you know that guy Nerd Roddick? Yeah, he he has this weird fascination with Mark Hamill's granddaughter and he constantly throws Mark Hamill's granddaughter in his face. To like own as like an own. Because I guess originally Mark Hamill didn't approve of the like his son getting like knocking up some woman or whatever. But but I guess now it's okay. But uh, like like they have a relationship and everything. But Nerd Roddick like is always like, "How's your granddaughter?" It's it's really weird shit. 
Uh, and um, here's uh, here's uh, EVS talking about against it. the WEF and Talentless Poser uh, says, I guess hubby Gary relentlessly taunting Mark Hamill with granddaughter slur tweets for many months, if not years, is totally acceptable, huh? Maybe someone should screenshot every Gary throwing Hamill shade tweet. I'm sure the results would be alarming and highly disturbing. Uh, so somebody did do that. Uh, somebody, <laughs> yeah. Someone went and got all of them. Put together. Like the, the, the first one is, any, anybody miss me? And Nerdrotic responds, your granddaughter. All of... Uh, Gar By the way, ex-felon Nerdrotic. <laughs> Gary. So every time... Mar so here's what happened. Mark Hamill's son. Just FYI. Because I reported on this too. I made a video of this while this happened. Mark Hamill's son um, got somebody pregnant, a young lady pregnant, who Mark Hamill did not approve of. And Mark Hamill encouraged this young lady, um, maybe pressured her even, uh, to get an abortion. I don't know if, how do we know that? Like, I, I don't know how you could possibly know that, but whatever. Abort that pregnancy. And she refused. Mark was worried that, he, you know, uh, she only wanted his money. She refused. She went ahead and had the baby. Uh, anyway, and I think that's commendable. I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm against abortion. I'm against single Rich moms. Rich people are always for abortion when it means someone's cutting into their will. It's funny. He said, I'm against single moms. I think I know what he means. Like, whim like moms shouldn't be single. That's not always by choice, by the way, but it makes it, it, it does, it sounds weird. I'm against single moms. Uh, but, uh, I'm against abortion more than I'm against single moms. So I, <laughs> I commend her for that. I think she did the right thing. Obviously she did the right thing. Uh, so we got, uh, <clears throat> Mark Hamill saying, anybody miss me? Let me open this in a new tab so you can take a look at it a little bit better. Anybody miss me? Your granddaughter. And I want you to look at the fucking insanity. So, uh, this is uh this is the thing. We've got people saying that uh Ripoff first went after Gary's wife, went after by posting one single image of Miss Piggy and then having to defend himself. Yeah, so Ripoff first did like a picture comparison between Nerd Roddick's wife and Miss Piggy, I guess. Uh Which having to def will never not be funny. Miss Piggy is a American icon, okay? We love her, but she's a pig-faced, ego-driven puppet. Yeah. Defend himself by all of Nerdrotic's stands, Nerdrotic's wife herself, everybody on the internet, oh my God, ah! Acting like this is the worst thing in the world, all jockeying for position to suck Gary's balls. You want to know what going after? You want to know what targeting actually looks like? This is what targeting actually looks like. None of this is his business. None of this is Gary's business. Anybody miss me? Your granddaughter. Any minute now, Mark Hamill's going to stop posting about Trump and finally visit his granddaughter. Your granddaughter. Your granddaughter. Your granddaughter. Your granddaughter. It's like a seven-year-old kid, too, I think. Like, se like what do you get your granddaughter for Christmas? Do you love your granddaughter? Uh, look at I can't even I don't I'm know. pretty sure the kid's mom gets involved in this thread too. I want to read all this stuff. It's fucking retarded, dude. This is what targeting looks like. Gary's response to this. <laughs> no. Oh, well, well, you what do you want to start with? To the I... Legion of Real Men Against Single Mothers. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Fallout, right? We Fallout. can talk about Fallout. I was looking for something on Twitter. I can't find it. Now. I do see a, a DP guest on there. Mauler. Oh, uh, yeah, Somebody. it's so funny. Somebody, let me just laugh this off real quick. <laughs> Fake laughter. <laughs> oh, this is you no big deal, guys. Either. This doesn't make me look like a disgusting fucking piece of shit hypocrite. I shared with you guys. Somebody mentioned um, all of my tweets to Mark Hamill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They collected them. Uh, I'm like, that's some of my best work. <laughs> Thank is you. That, that's good. And they asked uh, if I have a mental problem. 
Yeah, fuck sure. Fuck yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Wait, absolutely. If, you, if you do, they're not allowed to be critical of you, right? Yeah. Oh, true. I have a mental problem, so leave me alone. Uh-huh. Jeez. Yeah, there you go. Uh, my only response to, to the, I guess, the point they were trying to make is uh, I'm, I'm roasting Mark Hamill. hate to explain the joke because he tweets about the orange man all day, every day. All day, every day. So okay. I just simply respond with, um, hey, do you want to visit the granddaughter that you asked your son's uh, stripper girlfriend to, to abort? And uh, I guess the whole point oh, is of that tweet is if my is kids... Funny. Look at so not only do you, like, use this kid as a pawn to get at her grandfather, you also talk shit about her mother too like you just have no respect for all of for any of them it's kind of yeah, weird which which you know i would be fine for it's the internet nobody is holding anybody's fucking hand but you can't go around saying how dare you make a miss piggy about about my wife how dare you you can't go around saying the how dare you game you fucking pussy it's face <laughs> shit uh, I, I, yeah, I was defending Trump. Oh my God! Thank God Trump has a guy like Nerd Roddick. Oh, sweet Jesus! Hold on a second here. Should I read super chat? Secret no, Service isn't Number enough. One, he needs Nerd Roddick to troll Mark Hamill. <laughs> I'm laughing online. when I say this. Knocked up a stripper or a girl. Oh, you know what I would say to them? <laughs> hi, well done. Hi, yeah. Well, after well done. Hi, Dad. Now go take. As you don't have a son. Take care of the fucking kid. Reap what you sow. That's what I would say. Reap yeah, what that's you what I would sow. say. That, but, is that uh, right? Yeah. If I, I'll find it. I'll show it. Reap later, what you <laughs> sow. Yeah, what it is you funny, sow. isn't it? I think it started. It started uh, the first one when I was on the plane out to the UK. In between watching Raz, uh, Raz, as get Raz, Raz, <laughs> as get Raz, because uh, it was right after the Starfield rant, right? So I'm reading everybody going after as, and I, I come across one thing, and I go, uh, I'm like, oh, let me go roast Mark Hamill real quick, and then okay, well, I'm back to, <laughs> to to watching everybody. Oh, 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 oh. Pronouns, gender ambiguity. As it was great. Oh wow, you you turned out to be kind of vindicated about that. Just a wee bit. Isn't it an insult now to guys, say you pre-ordered guys, stuff? Guys, I wasn't just harassing somebody online for fun. I was doing it to defend Donald Trump. Arfield. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the highest form of insult. Oh, How can you I'm... laugh like, ha, 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 and then return to this face again? Hold on a second. <laughs> now to say you pre-ordered Starfield, <laughs> <laughs> and then right back to this. <laughs> it's like the high- the fake laughter is unreal, unbelievable. Here's the problem with this. I like your idea that it's like you know what, uh, you're pro-abortion, uh, and therefore I want to just jam that down your throat. You're pro-abortion. You 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 don't want abortions and all that. Problem with that, Gary, is that like the granddaughter's a real person. So you forgot about that part. You, fucking 50-year-old uh, former criminal, obsessively tagging Mark Hamill uh, with tweets about his uh, granddaughter means that eventually she's going to find the tweets. Her mother is, uh, and her daughter is. See what I mean? So she doesn't need to know. The little tiny girl doesn't need to know that she wasn't wanted. She doesn't need that. Uh, And that is kind of the problem right now. Problem that was identified by who? No, no, no. You Uh, don't get it. We don't, we don't care what happens to the baby once it's born. We just (laughs) want it to be born. That's true. We can pick on it once it's born. We don't care about its well-being. We have no compassion for an unwanted child once it's born. The mother herself. I actually came forward with this, and I, I just said, you know what? Like, oof, Mark Hamill does indeed visit his granddaughter. Uh, he posted some beautiful photos sharing an Easter egg hunt with her. It's apparent they love each other. Not simping for Hamill, but what does this TDS have to do with this family? There's Mark Hamill with this little girl. Look at that little girl. This is why abortion is absolutely <laughs> evil. You know what I mean? It's a, a huge... Owning the libs. Uh, here's the cool thing about abortion, right? If you want it, have it. 
If you don't want it, don't have it. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, gigantic solution to uh, a pro this is not a problem. This little girl could not possibly be a problem. Look at that dimple. Look at the dimples on this kid. How can you get a little? Thing? You know, I want to get to the uh, other part. All right. Needs uh. All right. Family is supposed to be off limits. That's the whole thing about this. My pictures of Andrea. He's a shit. Where's the part? Where, the oh yeah, here she is. I he knows though, and he this fucking piece of shit. Uh, made fun of Ava. Uh, you know, uh, just not a great thing. So during this conversation uh, that we were having here uh, about whether or not it's okay uh, that <clears throat> Mark Hamill uh, demanded the abortion and all this stuff, uh, this woman shows up. Her name is Megan. Uh, and she just says, as her mother, I'm not okay. This is her first post here. As her mother, I'm not okay with it. She has a relationship with all of them and has been seeing her dad for years now. She loves him and is always so excited to see him. She runs to him every time. He loves her too. Uh, so uh, she is the one who put this article in the newspaper a long time ago. She says she regrets that now. She says people are allowed to change their opinions from their original stance. Stop using my minor child for your bullshit. Oof. Stop using my minor child for your bullshit. And when I that saw this, I realized who she was. Creepy. And uh, I just apologized to her. I said, Megan, listen, I'm so sorry this is being dredged up. It's nobody's business. Bless you for bringing that baby into the world. Very admirable and brave of you. She says, it truly isn't. It happened in 2016. The, the minute people could see pictures of her on Nathan's Instagram, it became very clear he loves her. It should have been dropped. Uh, all his family has spent time with her and loves her. Uh, and then um, some uh, dickheads uh, decided to uh, continue to, to bother this woman. Um, and I apologize to her. Either man's ever apologized that she's been brought into anything. No one is supporting killing babies, as far as I know, in response to my tweets. Killing all I've asked for is to, for people to leave my child out of whatever issues they have with Mark. Yeah, it's not too much to ask. I reported on the story. I don't when know. It was news, Mark I'll didn't delete my video. Keep my take on Star Wars. I'm going to pick on all these little kids because of it. <laughs> it is really crazy that it said, that it comes you. to that. Said, Dawn deleted. Thank you. What a nice woman. Thank you so much. All that really matters is that Autumn uh, is happy and loved. And what happened in the past stays there. I truly appreciate your response and you deleting that. Glad to hear it. I'm sorry if I caused your family. Okay. Yeah, we're getting. You know, I'm I'm a fan of Mark Hamill. I'm a fan of abortion. I'm a fan of picking on little kids. But uh, I don't know. I think this nerdwatic guy might be a bit of an asshole. You want to know who else is an asshole? Oh. I'd say Smarty. This guy. S Smarty, while you talk to Ben, I'm going to run and take a piss. You okay. Take a pee -pee. Because uh, I have. So I would like to apologize. <laughs> I'll to... get you on the screen in just a moment. Oh, here. fuck. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I would like to apologize to not just you, not just Billy, but to the DP audience, because normally I'm not fucking super duper fucking late to a show. Yeah. I'm usually here at nine at 8.59 on my time. So essentially I, I had a lot going on. I fucking had, an, had a band practice that I had to fucking be there for because we have a an ep release show which by the way if you haven't listened to my fucking music please do me a favor and go to all streaming platforms and look up uh breathe again by hope speak thank you very much um but it's uh we went late and i was like i have to go and on top of that i had to drive my bassist home because he doesn't drive so that's just another fucking 15 minutes added on to the trip and now we're here. I'm very sorry. I don't know it's how right. long you guys have been going with this. Is some this is some Jeff Holiday shit of being super <laughs> late and just showing up. Oh damn. Um, <laughs> and I love Jeff Holiday, but I'm just saying, <laughs> fucking late. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're uh, we're probably gonna wrap it up pretty soon here because we have like our uh, movie review and all that coming up okay. soon. Um, but Billy, I I owe you. And whatever episode you want me on next, 
I owe you. I'll I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, From yeah. From the beginning, I promise. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll figure uh, it out. It was uh, also your favorite son canceled too, so you um you both canceled at the exact same time. But it was fine. We we did our thing. You okay. know. Have you seen the new uh, Jared bumpers? So I meant to. No, I haven't. Also, I think I need the screen. By the way. Oh shit. Oh, you can't see it. Let me see um, here. no, not yet. But that being said, All I also. Right. It's been so long. I need to know the lore. What's the current DP lore that I'm missing out on? Because it's been it's been a uh, while. Um, the, like the which part of the lore? There's so much. Just a general like a cliff notes of like shit going on with you guys. And last thing I saw was naked and laughing is trying to like sue you or some shit. Oh, she said she was going to, but she's not going to. She okay. She okay. has no resources to do such a thing. Of course. Um, but yeah, yeah, check this out. <laughs> There's another one. There's another one. I love it. It's so This great. shit is beautiful. Yeah. It's so good. Um, and it's also it's 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 fair use. It's it's you can you can get away with it. Yeah. Yeah. I can I dig the shit out of that. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, you know, it's it, it's uh, I I always like those things they would do in the Austin Powers movies, so it's just an extension of that. I I think Jared should play Austin Powers in the next Austin Powers movie. That's a little bit of a load casting. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, a, a double load, in fact. Ew. Um, Ew. We're gonna watch the movie Death Stalker Four tonight. Death Stalker 4. Interesting. We, we watched the first three over the last three months, so this is the fourth installment. Uh, and it's uh, it doesn't matter that it's the fourth one, because it's probably going to have almost nothing to do with the first one, other than the fact that they probably recycled footage from the uh, the first three to make four. Different ca- different main character casting, I assume. It's the, yes. Yeah, these are. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I'll be right back, by the way. Okay. Smarty. Yeah. You know what you missed tonight? Everything. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Everything. Brett Keane said something stupid. Oh, man. That's a... I, I would like to say I'm not surprised, but in the in being that like he's been around, he, being the roach of the internet for so long... I'm also like, I'm also surprised in which he's actually still, still finding ways to say dumb shit. <laughs> still finding new, new means. Now we're going to be watching death stalker four tonight. Are you going to hang mm-hmm. out with us a bit or do you have a, uh, you have to call it a night. I can hang for a bit. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. a fucking ridiculous style of movie. It's sword and sorcery style. Like, these old barbarian type of movies. Yeah, yeah. With magic and shit. And the last few have just been ridiculous. You see these little weird cameos. Nothing like really crazy. There was like uh, Matilda the Hun from uh, <laughs> Glow. Matilda the Hun. Yeah, from the Glow Wrestling was in was in one of them. That's great. You get like these Playboy Playmates will be in them. And their acting is amazing. And... Uh, <laughs> The tonight's the fourth and final release Death Stalker, but I heard there was a Kickstarter recently for a to fund one. another one. Oh my god. So it's gonna be uh be something special when that comes out. That's a <laughs> I love these like B these these I don't even know if you call it a B movie. It's like it's fucking it's trash. I yeah. assume. Yeah, they're real shit shitters. Hot but garbage. They're, but they're they're they have charm. The one thing they have is like you knew it wasn't just some pervy old man wanting to make a movie with a hot Playboy model so he could watch her change in the dressing room. It was a pervy old man who wanted to make a movie with a Playboy model to watch her change in the dressing room and do sword stuff. I say but it was earnest. Like it was like it, <laughs> It was an honest attempt at a movie, but also maybe some titty in it. It's a total shit so show with tits and swords. 
Yes. <laughs> that's a fucking that's a fucking poster quote right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um Tomorrow we have a Patreon private show too. So Yeah. 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 And then Saturday we're going to be back again for an episode of Drunken Peasants, the podcast. Yeah. It's going to be a busy little stretch here. It just keeps going and going. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll probably, in like a, a couple more minutes, we'll we'll go do this movie thing. So, are you are you going to you gonna stick with us, Smarty? Or Yeah, I was saying I can hang for a little bit. Yeah. It's a short movie. It's, uh, mm-hmm. let's see, it is... It's like uh like an hour and twenty minutes, so it's not like a okay. long movie, but yeah, I can I can not for the full thing, but I can sure. hang for a little bit. Okay, yeah, amazing. Yeah, we'll do that. You're gonna end amazing. up watching the whole thing because it's impossible to leave. <sighs> impossible to leave Deathstalker <laughs> for. Cool. Yeah, seven hundred and one dollars. We are was now that at. Jared? Was that Jared? That, that was, was me. Jared. Okay. That... That was me laughing at Jared. <laughs> okay, because I feel like there's gonna the last thing I remember in terms of the donation, like sounds and stuff was he. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Those, yeah still those still exist. Those still exist, but we're also right. diversifying them. But we have okay. one where it goes for a full two minutes nonstop. It's for, it's it's when someone gives a hundred and two dollar donation that goes for. Uh, for two solid minutes without stopping. Oh shit! The the one of Jared going, <laughs> yeah, and it just doesn't end for two minutes. Never fucking ends for two minutes. It's, crazy. it's two minutes. All right, so <sighs> everyone go to Patreon.com/dp. Sign up for the ten dollar level because there's all this other stuff coming up. There's going to be an episode of Word Vomit coming up that's, uh, you can get the video version if you sign up at the $10 $10 level. $10 and above. Yep. And then we also have the two $5 private shows. We got actual Mania Mania coming at the, at the last Friday of this month, which is in about a week. Got a huge card, probably like six or seven matches on it. So that's going to be insane. Um... There's a lot of content coming up if you like content, so you should sign up at at least the $5 level, but probably the $10 level to get hours and hours and hours of extra content that we do each yeah. month. Thousands don't, of hours of content for all of your holes. Don't screw yourself out of the $10 level by only getting the $5 level because you're going to miss out on so much premium content. Yeah, um... I'm going to post the link for everybody. There it is right there. Patreon.com slash DP. It's really simple. Just go there. Sign up because we're about to go there right now. We're going to go there right now. So this stream is about to end. And we are going live over on the other platform. The links are available. Just sign up and just... Copy and paste the link and put it right in your browser, and we will see you all there. So we're going there right now. See you all there. All of you sign up. We're doing it now. Here we go. What? In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken peasants, drunken peasants From the strangest corners of the internet Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben You know where you can find them at Get ready cause they're gonna kick your Drunken peasants, drunken peasants Drunken peasants, drunken peasants peasants.